Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry for that little bit of a delay there. I had somehow gotten kicked out of my own space and I was wondering where <laughs> I was wondering where everybody was and then I Yo, said well I'm not here King Bow, what's up man how you been all right now Bro, let me, I gotta give you my numbers let me get you guys yeah. on the on the screen here uh and, and I'll close myself out because they can, guys they can already see me I, do you, if you guys really need to see me I could leave it on but... up, Matt nice to meet you King Bow, redeem zoomer redeem zoomer what's going on Where's oh, Jennifer Tunney? <laughs> now, hey Matt, I was saying that. Um, can you hear us? Nice to get a hold yes. of me, Matt. I get you my number. Yeah, I got you in the DMs, and, and I really appreciate you reaching out to me, man. I've been going crazy with a lot of stuff recently. I really want to do it. You, you got that Stu Peter show now, yeah? Yeah, it's called Uncancelable. Uh, we're building up the studio. It should be done in like three weeks. Sick. We're gonna have you on for sure. You're gonna be on for sure. Oh yeah, booyah, sweet. Do you guys have anybody that's uh, critical of Christianity on? Because Stu said that he doesn't entertain satanic antichrists. <laughs> is that is that what we're not allowed to question the the Jewish religion? I'm one of his I'm one of his best friends, and he knows you know I'm love and light, and we we talk about it all the time. So like that's the polar polarity of the show. So I definitely want to get some guests on that challenge all those beliefs for sure. Oh, that's good. Of yeah, course. man, we, we got to keep it real. And if we're really going to be doing this, we have to accept everybody's opinion. If you're going to bring people on that can hate on one thing, then to be real, you got to at least 34, the 34 cent, three dollars on Rumble. Yeah. In England, yeah, like the Lauren Chen speech the other day that she said she wanted a wide range of we also perspectives. Have to pay for a pension and it was a get. Moshiach Abrahamic circle jerk <laughs> of only Jews and Christians. <laughs> so was that the one about the Christ is King thing? Was that yeah. the one? Yeah. yeah, yeah, listen to that. Oh yeah, that's the one that Adam was in, right? Adam got into it with Nick Fuentes on there. He yeah, got into it with Andrew Meyer more than Nick Fuentes. Again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Jewish infighting—they just can't unite. They could conquer the goyim, but they couldn't. They can't even pull it together. Conquer the goyim. What's up, my goy? What's up, my goys? I know. What's up, Ralph? What's Thanks up, guys? Yeah, I say, let me go around the panel. Uh, some of you guys are new to the show. I think everybody here new to the show, except hey, for Adam Green. Yeah, yeah. Who's been on here many times? What did you say, Matt? Sorry, I didn't catch oh, that. Oh, where's Adam King? Isn't he supposed to be popping in here? Yeah, he's supposed he's on, to be. He will uh, be. He's here. On Jewish time, like Shmuel well, was he's saying. <laughs> he's gonna be here. He's the one that got me on here. So yeah, I know he'll, he'll definitely be here. I'm, I'm certain yeah. of that. But he, but he's not here yet. Um, wait. As soon as I say that. As soon as I say that. Bam, 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 bam. There he Hello. is. Now he did make it. All right. Now uh, some of you guys are. Um, are new to the show. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut anybody off. Um, but some of you guys are new to the show. I usually let people introduce themselves, uh, especially when they're new to the show. I see King Bao, uh, and I, I don't know him personally. I don't know you personally, uh, but I've seen a lot of your content uh, on Stu Peters and, and elsewhere. Uh, much, much respect to you. Much respect uh, to your fighting career as well, uh, but also your commentary career. Uh, and so I'll let you introduce yourself to the Killstream audience if you'd like. Oh shit! Oh, okay. or you know what? You can go second if you want because I see you're snacking there. I just had to hey, little snack myself. <laughs> we're on, we're on, hey, shout out to this mango cheesecake. I don't know if you guys like <laughs> the tote the tree, but when you tote the tree, you want to mix in mango because it like accentuates the high. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm King Bao, uh, the Jimmy Kimmel Challenge. Um, you know, we talk about truth, love, and light. We expose it all on at underscore King Bao. You know, we get these globalist Satanist pedophile fucks out of here. Very cool. And, uh, again, I appreciate you coming on. Uh, now, Matt Baker, also uh, a first-time appearance here on the Kill Stream. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself as well? Matt's the fucking man. <laughs> what's up guys i really appreciate you i pretty much know everyone in here except for uh what's the name of my homeboy up top but uh yeah you may know me from uh, appearances on Infowars. i've been on Stu peters i've been on pretty much most shows around uh went viral with the hail fauci speech originally during the pandemic calling out the vaccine passport uh that shit went global viral snoop dog talked about it i won a pandemic award from it. it was on the late night tv shows colbert all those guys and ever since then i've just been getting into the commentary scene and uh you know it, it's ever evolving and now uh seems to be a lot of people talking about jews <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about it now uh, you can get me on slave to liberty uh it, it, slave underscore to liberty on x mostly and and I, i'm pushing the slogan we the sequel it's we the people round two baby 
Very cool, and I appreciate that introduction. I've noticed that, too. Uh, we've talked about the shoes quite a bit on the kill stream, now that you mention it. Uh, Reform Zoomer, and I see Adam King dropping in and out. We tested his camera earlier. I don't know if he's having problems with that, uh, but he actually dropped in earlier in the show. Everything was working great. Uh, I don't know if there's uh, a little mix-up there. I know he's very particular, uh, and he has a really no. nice setup, too, so maybe that's what, hey, why, he's, why he's dropping in and out. What would you say, Adam? Uh, said, they don't want... They, they don't want two Smooly events in one day, so they're <laughs> shutting them down. Besides. Smooly really did get owned today. I Alex <laughs> went in pretty hard, and when he dropped the USS Liberty, my draw, uh, my uh, my jaw dropped a little bit. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, hey, how that interview? I missed it. How I saw the little bits and clips, but like, how epic was that? Interview? It was I'm epic all the way through. And Smooly does what he always does, right? Right at the beginning, he goes full ad hominem, full personal. You know, making fun of the protein powder, or the you know brain force, and all this stuff. Bringing up Sandy Hook, just as personal as you can imagine critiquing his sex life and all this stuff. And then he always acts like he's the one attacked next, right? Like he's the one under attack. Why are you getting so personal after he starts every single debate I've ever seen him in? He starts like that. Uh, so yeah, I would, I would suggest going back and catching his, but probably about an hour and 20 minutes or so, maybe a little bit less without the commercials. So, uh, cool. yeah, it was definitely worth it. Uh, reform zoomer, uh, making his debut here on the kill stream as well. Uh, and we wanted a, 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 another Christian voice, uh, here on the panel. And, you know, we, we had some people in the mix and I was glad that you accepted the invitation sir and i appreciate you being here why don't you introduce yourself a little bit to the killstream audience sure well thank you for having me on first of all my name is redeem zoomer redeem not zoomer not reform zoomer i'm sorry okay. i'm sorry that's an epic mistake it's okay on me. for whatever reason everyone thinks it's reform <laughs> zoomer it's the mandela effect seriously but yeah i'm i'm redeem zoomer reform zoomer doesn't exist and i'm a christian youtuber I'm not exactly sure why I'm here, but if you have any questions about Christianity, I'm happy to answer them. All right, and I'm sorry, God, that's a terrible mistake. Uh, my bad, and at least I'm not the only one who's done it. Uh, I guess that makes me feel a little bit better. No, every single person ever <laughs> has done it, so don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, I, my apologies regardless. All uh, good. All now, good. I'll go to Adam King next, and then I'm going to let Adam Green start uh, the discussion here, I guess, and give a little bit of an intro. But Adam King, introduce yourself uh, to what the audience. Up, what up? I am Adam King. I'm the host of the Adam King Show, found on all platforms, including Bandai Video. I'm a one-man show, and I do all my own technical stuff, and I get like into these weird situations where I have like no clue what's going on. So forgive me, because my camera keeps going in and out. Ralph, I came on your show okay. earlier today. It worked to fine. Get my yeah. I think your camera might be anti-Semitic. <laughs> I think it might be. Do you guys see me taking up the full screen, or do you guys see like a you bar, perfect, right here and a bar right here? You're in line with all of us. You look great. Yeah, it yeah. looks fine to me. Yeah. Okay, cool. As long as it looks good to you guys on my end, I'm sure that it's whatever. Adam, I got so, a question for you. Yeah. Who's more controversial? Who's the most controversial Jew on the internet? You or Shmuley or Shuli or whatever the fuck his name is. Well, what type of controversy? There's bad controversy. There's good controversy. I think all controversy is energy. It's true. I don't know, dude. I I, I don't want to get into that whole thing, but like, I think that there's an interesting uh, thing playing out with all the Jews on the internet that uh, get out there. And actually, believe it or not, I had a conversation today with Rabbi Michael Barclay, the one who went on Candace Owens' show. And... Uh, he did agree to come on my show but what was so surprising to me was he was also so pissed off at what Shmuley did you know so it was like you could see even in the divisions of people who had taken up issues with candace owens like people are really disgusted by what Shmuley's is doing even people who other other people who had problems with what candace was doing i for one don't really have a problem with what anybody does i want to weigh in on Shmuley. I'm I'm a free speech absolutist, so I like it when people say outlandish stuff. You know, I think free speech is like amazing, and you know, like I think it's really important that all forms of speech are legal. I'm an Orthodox Jew. I grew up in the world though, where KKK marches are legal down the streets, and these things are important to society. Like it, you, you got to know who your neighbors are too. You know, like in in the world of censorship. Uh, nobody knows anybody else. So everything is in secret. You know, people aren't out in the open with how they feel. And that's why big hats off to you, Ralph, for putting on a panel like this, because 
uh, like the one that took place on Monday on X and uh, like my show I did with Owen Schroyer yesterday. Having these conversations is so important in, in order to get over these these like uh, humps that uh, are, uh, you know, destroying our, 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 our world. We got to get through this and and uh, it's nice to meet new faces. Redeem Zoomer, you, uh, pleasure to meet you. And uh, I'm glad we got a a, a, a Christian voice, a power, a, a truest, purest Christian voice on the panel. I know that uh, King Bao is also a Christian and uh, has his own kind of like thing going on with spirituality and religion, which always adds <laughs> interesting twists to everything. A radical. And uh, King Bao. All right. Hey, I'm going to weigh in. I would just real quick. I Go ahead weigh and in. weigh in on Shmuley, and then I'll, I'll yeah, kick I it to I want to weigh in on the Shmuley thing because I have a take on it that not sure. many people do. But to me, it's just blatantly obvious. Shmuley's been in the game forever. He used to be on Howard Stern. He knows how to get attention. He basically fell off the map. No one cared who he was. He knew the Jew thing was the biggest topic going. He wanted to be top J. And so basically, he... He trolled everybody and got everybody in, and he basically played the court jester. He did the, uh, you know, the Alex Stein method of like, oh, I'm just a crazy lunatic, and the next thing you know, everyone's talking about you. Now he's like, right away, he's got a interview on with Alex Jones, full right. segment, get the whole thing. And I told people, they're like, oh, Kenneth Owens broke him. He's done. He's spiraling. It's like, no. I told him right away. I'm like, no, dude, he's reeling you right in. He's just reeled everyone in, and then he comes out, and whether you like him or not, I mean, he does ad hominem, the same old BS, yeah. but he crushed it today. I don't care what anyone said. I mean, Alex Jones, I, I honestly, I love Alex. I felt like he was uh, not prepared, and he was on the ropes a little bit. Really? I mean, he had some good jokes. I did, yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, I agree with what you're saying, though, that everything's working to Shmuley's design. Uh, I mean, he's been mm -hmm. an attention whore. He, he was right to be called that. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, he was on TV when I was a teenager. Uh, you know, Michael Jackson, spiritual advisor, and, you know, doing all this stuff. And you're right, he kind of fell off the map, and you never really heard about this guy too much. Uh, mm -hmm. And then October 7th happened, and he comes out and says all this outlandish uh, material. And he knows what he's doing. He doesn't delete. Like, he, he likes but the until hate. Until he wore the nose and the whole thing, he never really got in the zeitgeist. North 34, like now, 30 percent, three dollars on Rumble. Yeah, Ralph right puts open you know, on like this, I, I respect awesome. you for saying that. I do have a and question I to think King though, Do you turn like, up to work on was, time? He did Real come question. up with some wins, but he also, I think his wins were overshadowed by his losses, and I really felt Alex did an amazing job handling that situation. It's such an uncomfortable position to be in, to that Alex had to be in. Uh, yeah. You know, Alex, Jeremy Boring, all the people who are being called out and like, kind of like positioned like. You know, like people on the alt right, they always say the Jews, they're always crying victims. So, like, Shmuley goes out there and cries victim. And Matt, you always hit it on the head. You're really like a real trend. So, you call the trend before it happens every single time. Uh, and, 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 and I think you're spot on with that. Like, he's trying to make oh. a move for Top J, but I don't think he did a good job. I think he did a, a, a really piss poor job, actually, because like there were times that he was actually going to come up with a real W. And like, I'll give you an example. Like he said, Alex, say one good thing about the Jews. And Alex would start and like, then he'd interrupt him and he'd say, you can't even say one good thing about the Jews. You can't even say one good thing about the Jews. And that kind of shit is like so weak. And that well, I mean, it's ridiculous because he knows that, 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 that just, shit about as the a Jew all the time. And here's the thing, embarrassing. If, if regardless of, of the substance of the argument, it was just like I say, when on the ropes, like Shmuley was just bra, 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 bra. And Alex was kind of dazed a lot of the time, just like letting him talk. It yeah. became the Shmuley show. It was like, dude, shut this motherfucker up already and I here's know. the thing so if if Shmuley didn't have sandy hook and freaking train cars and hitler like every single one of his arguments was just a standard just playbook like take every one of those piece of shit arguments out and actually talk about the substance of what's going on and, and it, it would have been nothing but still the sandy hook and all the bs just comes in and oh when he starts if, if right. alex lands a point he's like oh the box cars oh no hitler <laughs> and it's just like come on man this is not a way to argue but you know, I told I told a lot of people they're like, oh, he's not gonna do good. I'm like, dude, he's a Jew. He he they they can argue great. And I'm not talking bad. But Adam, I love you. I I, I love yeah. talking to Adam as, as much as uh, King, as much as I disagree with pretty much 99.9% .9 of everything he says, because he at least says what he what he means and he does what he says. But and he can argue, and I like arguing, but it, trust me, there's one thing they can do is is argue well. So if we want to say something good about the Jewish people, is they are tremendous arguers.
Well, I appreciate that. You're getting no argument out of me. You're getting a complete <laughs> agreement here, bro. But the I got to say, masters. Matt Baker, I love him. Masters. He's like the marketing director for the Elders of Zion, and uh, he is my <laughs> homie for sure. He's one of the he's one of the smartest men in the game. So uh, I actually really like uh, your opinions on these things, and and it's refreshing to see you take a take like that on Shmuley because he is very smart. And he came in with some really solid points. It's like the guy who runs for the touchdown and then fumbles at the 10 yard line every single time. He, you know, he's like wide open and he fumbles. And that's what Shmuley did every single time. He's a really smart guy. That conversation could have been such a bridge building event. And instead, Shmuley wanted yeah. it to be tension, he wanted it to be chaos. You know, and and the two of them could, especially if you watch Adam and I, we did a, on, on No More News today, we did a recap of it. And it, there was just so many op missed opportunities. And, it, and like I said, it could have been such a bridge building event. Uh, the, the, his, his take on the Jesus story and, and Pilate and all those topics, that would have been a fascinating discussion. Shmuley wrote a whole book on that. Did you and, read it? Uh, I didn't read it, but oh, Green did. Jesus? Yeah, I Green read it. did. <laughs> you read it? I didn't buy it, though. I got it from the library. <laughs> Let's hear for let's hear how much of a G Green let's is. He gets it from the library. Yeah, I know I know his whole shtick. It's not even original. What is the shit? What's the basic premise of it? He says Jesus was a Jew and that he died and his followers made up legends, and then the Gentiles got a hold of it and then made it anti-Semitic. And that the, the Christian version, the Gentile Christianity, is nothing like the Judaism version of Christianity. That's well that makes no sense. In a nutshell. Have, that makes so no are there Judaist the, Christians out there that Yo, well, actually, yeah, the first Christians were all Jewish, yes. Yeah. No, no, no. But you're saying that that the people that actually accept Jesus as some, at least some, a prophet of sorts, if not the Christ. But there is a Jewish sect of people that worship Jesus in some yeah, way. Yeah, Le Lever Dean did. Yeah, he was going to yeah. say something. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Ever since the early church, the first apostles of the church, the founders of the church, were all Jewish. Right. And. Every, even today, every single minister has apostolic succession going back to the first apostles who are Jews. So it doesn't make much sense to claim that there was some great replacement of a Jewish Christianity with a Greek Christianity. It's more like uh, as time went on, the percentage of the church got more and more Gentile until the Jewish part just sort of assimilated into the rest of it. So you could argue for a natural progression. You can argue that there was a lot of anti-Jewish rhetoric and there was a, more of a Hellenization in the first few centuries of the church because they're trying to distance Christianity from the Jewish community who was actively persecuting them. The leaders of the Jewish community were very much against the Jesus movement. But to claim that there was some conspiracy where uh, Christianity is completely separate from its Jewish roots, that is historically illiterate. What is Hellenization? I don't agree also, with you. Since we're talking about what is. Can I just ask a question? I just one, ask one at a time, one at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Matt and I are like requesting definitions here. Sure. No, I yeah. just want to know what Hellenization is. I just, I, I'm learning. Yeah. I'm not a, a Can I answer scholar, Hellenization? A biblical scholar. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Hellenization was when the Greeks went around and they're like, okay, you guys all got to be Greek now. You got to do all the Greek things. You got to have sex with minors and homosexuality, and everybody has to have Greek culture. I thought that and was the Jews. No, Greek just... celebration <laughs> and that Greek religion. And then there were some cultures that rejected Hellenization and some cultures that embraced Hellenization. Yeah, that was my question, Redeem Zoomer. I also want to know what different. apostolic secession is because that was interesting. I don't understand that concept. Right. So the. Most mainstream Christian denominations, with the exception of some heretical groups like Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses, they can trace their institution back to the institution that Jesus and the disciples started. So there have been splits along the way, you know, about the great schism between the Catholic yeah. and Eastern Orthodox Church. I wish we could Protestant. get a Mormon on here right now, too. That would be the, dead. There Pointless. Was like there are ways to things. But... <laughs> Uh, apostolic succession just means uh, the <laughs> current church as it is today can trace its institutional roots back to the early church founded by Jesus and the apostles. That's, That's cool. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. But that makes it really clear that we need a Mormon. And I heard that Sam Parker is a Mormon. Maybe we just reach out to him, see if he's. Yeah, you know, I you actually know, reached out to him. Yeah, what about Haile Selassie? What about Haile Selassie, man? He's supposed to be he wasn't that. a Mormon, dude. No, <laughs> Rastafari, the king's out of life. Actually, I'm bringing line of the tribe of Judah. I, I reached out. Let's bring the I reached out to Parker, Boy. and and he was he had he was doing some traveling or something tonight, but he he was semi interested. Uh, in coming what on about Mitt time. Romney? We should reach out to that more. Mitt Romney, yeah, I'm sure he'll jump right on. Uh, I saw Meyer was in the chat. He wanted to pop in too. I don't know what you guys uh, think about that, but I, I saw Andrew Meyer in the chat uh, as well. Um, Adam Green, though. 
Of Hello, course, sir. Andrew Myers in the chat. That guy's following everything I do like a hawk these days. <laughs> well, it's up to you guys if, if you want. What can I uh, comment about on his Twitter next? <laughs> yeah. That's always okay. good entertainment right there. That's good Adam entertainment. Loves it. Adam yeah. King loves yeah. it. I say bring him in. Bring him in in a little bit because okay. they're going to take oh, it over. They're going to take it over. That's what somebody messaged me saying. It's going to take it over. That guy is so annoying to me. I'm done. We don't want to hear all the Jewish. I literally got a message that said, "If you let him on, him and King will take it over." That's what they said. All right, well, we'll let him on here in a bit. We'll let him on here in a bit. Adam Green, why don't you? No way. Are you seriously going to let Andrew Mayer on here? You guys are just trying to trip me up. Oh, he's scared. He's scared. He's in the chat. He's in the you chat want me to, to you community. want to have a Jew on Jew debate? Is that what you? No, guys want? we don't. I've That's been trying to debate end. Andrew Mayer for a long time. You guys want to dominate the conversation as always? Me. We can have oh Andrew Mayer God. come on and debate me. Let's talk about Talmud. Let's let talk play, about. Let me talk about. Let me play my Let's say something. I want to hear what Adam Green was going to say. Go ahead, Adam. Yeah, I wanted to let Adam talk and lay out his. We've had many debates with Adam Green on his on this show, laying out his theory on Christianity. Adam Mel, and I usually let him do that because it's a great conversation starter, right? And a good fire starter. And for those of you here who haven't heard his take or know his full take on it, why don't you go ahead and give it to us, Al? I don't want to hijack the conversation, Ralph, and get into my boring scripture stuff and bore everybody. If anyone doesn't know me, I'm Adam Green. No More News is my site. And I've been focusing on Zionism and religion in geopolitics since 2014. And uh, it's good to meet everybody here. Thank you, Ralph, for hosting this. You're welcome. Uh, Thank you for having old us. School, yeah. Old school panel. Happy to be a part of it. And uh, I, I just kind of want to pick up where we, where we left off. But I will say, Adam mentioned something about legal speech, how he supports legal speech. Just right now, it's breaking. The governor of Texas signed some new law about the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance definition of anti-Semitism. And now it's always been non-binding. Then they want to get it implemented everywhere. And then now he's enacting it that it's going to be students are going to be disciplined now, punished if they violate any of these these uh, def, definition terms. What state is this in? Texas. Oh, that's Texas. Abbott. I'm telling you guys, they're setting up the Jews for something. I don't know. They're setting us up for blasphemy laws in prison if we I know. criticize. <laughs> yeah, if you question the power structure, or if you pretty soon if you question the central bank, you're like, oh, sounds like anti-Semitism. You know, I told you this like to Pfizer. Oh, anti-Semitism. I told this to Chase, uh, sovereign bro, on our spaces. You know, because he was talking about Christy Nome. There's 300 Jews that live in South Dakota, and like Christy Nome is cucking to the Jewish lobby. And I told him, I was like. You know, there are people like Christy Nome that do this for their own intentions. They want to do this. They feel like they're fulfilling their devotional faith by altering the First Amendment for the sake of the Jews. And it's causing more harm than good. And in a situation like that, Ron DeSantis's overreach by going to Israel to sign this law, it was like so out of place, out of touch with every single Floridian. And uh, not every single one. Well, the ones that supported him don't support free speech. Yeah. Well, who was around him when he signed the bill? There's a photo of it. There was a, a ton of Chabad people rabbis. Went, uh, there was a ton of people that went on it's, that trip. It's, it's unfortunate that that trip even took place. But when it when it happens, I ask myself, OK, who was the main pushers of these things? Sometimes, I, you know, I, I don't know if it's really backed by Jews. There's like a there is Jews in <laughs> it, but it's also like an evangelical laugh. thing. It's an evangelical <laughs> thing too, yeah. if you think about it. I mean, like these oh, people contribute. in some cases the evangelical community gets more wild about Israel than the Jews. You know, yeah, so. and let me just say we don't claim them. There's a there's a movement of Christians that are like Zionist and stuff, but that was actually a very modern thing that didn't exist mm -hmm. really before the eighteen hundreds. It's yeah. a movement called dispensationalism. It only really exists in it exists in America at first. So uh, why have they taken over then? Well, that's just, because oh, uh, it's you're just like saying they're not real Christians, but they're running everything. I, I didn't so. say they're not real Christians. I just said it's not historic Christianity. I didn't okay. say they're not real Christians. It's <laughs> okay. just very modern. Do you, do you think they're, 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 they're heretical, over? though, I guess is what I'm you think they're taken over by the Jews or the Antichrist or something? No. I just think no. it's a modern movement that's out of touch with historic Christianity. Okay, so how, how come you guys can't are, convince are you them a that Catholic your version or a is right? Uh, Catholicism is Christian, but I'm Protestant. Why I, can't we I convert I disagree it? on that. I don't think Catholic. I, I I separate Catholicism and Christianity. We can get to that later. But I'll ask, I'll answer Adam and we can go down that path, but which denomination oh. of, of Jesus follower are you? 
But well, Christian is somebody I'll, I'll answer Adam, what, I'll answer Christian, answer Adam what, Green's question. Generally, that um, variety of Christianity that I just mentioned, dispensationalism, it spreads mostly among the less educated classes, like, you know, rural southern Bible church in Alabama. That's where you'll find this ideology. Generally, once people are exposed to more educated, historic versions of Christianity, they immediately convert. So it, it's, it's not the number one religion in America. What is Christian Zionists, evangelical fundamentalist Christians, the num most popular religion in America. A lot of Americans are dumb, yes. Um, the, uh, <laughs> a lot of Americans are very uneducated. <laughs> so, so what's the deal if Christianity is true and you guys have the true, the true interpretations and the prophecies are so divine and clear, how is the number one religion in America helping, worshiping a foreign nation, helping them rebuild their temple and usher in the Antichrist is what I usually hear from Catholic Catholics or Eastern Orthodox. Right. Well, I never, no Christian group is ever going to be perfect on everything. They're still Christians. They're still part of the same religion. They're just wrong on the issue of Israel. That's it. They're right about who Jesus is. And that's what we really care about. So, so why has a wrong doctrine taken over America? If you have the truth and the scriptures are so clear and God set up his church, the rock, how has it been so corrupted? Because it seems like you're just going like, oh, well, they're just, it's a bad form. But this is a huge issue that's led our country to be enslaved to a foreign nation of the Holy Land, basically. Well, as far as we're concerned, there's a hierarchy of issues. What you believe about Jesus, that's the big thing. So you're a heretic if you say Jesus isn't God, for example, or if you say the resurrection didn't really literally happen like some liberal Christians do. But generally, if you agree on Jesus the way the vast, vast majority of Christians do, these other issues are secondary to that. So they might have earthly implications, but we don't think they have really spiritual implications. If you're wrong about Israel, the consequence is that uh, people are going to believe stupid things about Israel. Uh, but it doesn't really matter spiritually. As at least not nearly as much as what we say about Jesus. What we say about Jesus, that's what really matters. Hey, Adam Green, could I could I weigh in on this real quick? Um, not to win a debate or anything, but but a possible reason for the uh, for for why it went that way is is that this is before the information age. So you have power structures that are being built and churches being built and spreading and a pos you know going out and and uh, building churches and they need money to do such things and. They need power to do such things and with the jewish community and the christian community back in the day perhaps there was some kind of like agreement like hey if you guys agree that we're you know going to be doing this end time shit and we agree with the you know christian zionism then we'll help you and it will be like it will be a meshing and a buddy buddyism at least at least how it was sold is that it would be a team thing to where the jews and the christians could in theory at least in their minds work together so obviously i know work you together for what uh, for, for what motivates the Christian Zionists to do to do what they're doing? They but they've been sold the theory that this is part well, of. Yeah. I would like what, to. What motivates, what motivates them is they think that once Israel gets their third temple back, that's when the end times are going to come, and that's what motivates them. So and what do you believe in the end times? I have the theory. I, the theory. I don't on, believe Adam. that. You think Jesus I, is going to return? Yes, but I don't think the state of Israel needs to have anything to do with it. Does there need to be an antichrist first? Uh, I'm not sure if there's going to be a capital A antichrist. There have been many anti lowercase a antichrists throughout history, and there's debate within Christianity on the particular nature of the antichrist. But I don't believe any of these sensationalist end times headlines are reason to believe that the end is coming soon, because all of Christian history has been pinned the tail on the antichrist. So many different figures throughout history have been considered have been speculated to be the, the Jews haven't been returned to the land and about and about to have these big wars and planning to rebuild the temple and sacrifice the red heifer. None of that has happened the last 2000 years. That's all happening right now. And that's why we're seeing that right now. The the red red heifer 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 is coming on my show tomorrow. So everybody stay tuned to the is that, is is that hear Kathy red Griffin? heifer from the mouth itself. Kathy no, Griffin is Trump. That the red Trump heifer? is the red heifer. They're going to sacrifice him. <laughs> uh, Kathy Griffin and Trump together. That would be epic. No, yeah, um, it makes sense we're seeing Christian Zionism now because, like you said, those things are happening. But just because they're happening doesn't mean that their prophecies and stuff are so, correct. I'll tell you the truth, okay? This is how yeah. I see things. What I said earlier that there's a difference between Catholicism and all non-Catholic-based Jesus-following faiths is that the Catholics have a historical guilt upon them for the crimes committed on the Jews. And those reformations though an unintentional byproduct absolved those faiths from spiritually i believe this spiritually this is my own opinion absolve those faiths from the guilt of the crimes the vatican committed against the jews and thus 
freed up these people's souls to be able to look at Jews in a different light. And that's why the evangelical community, which is the farthest removed from the guilt of the crimes the Vatican committed against the Jews, including the retention of all the objects uh, of national interest of the Jews, that, um, that these people are the most fervent about Israel because in their hearts they see Israel as the redemption of Israel, uh, the redemption of the Jewish people uh, at the end of the exile of Edom. So that's yeah. why it's like a spiritual fervor that they had. Like I said, Christy Nome is on fire to do this. It's not becoming from money behind her. It's coming from her own vin uh, vindiction. Well, it and comes frankly, from the propaganda that she's bought into, which is, like I said, could be propagated it's through Propaganda or not. If it's, whether you think it's propaganda or not, it's attached to her spiritual. Well, here, uh, wait one second, because you, I, I just noticed a flaw in, in some of your argument or what you're saying about when you, when you talk about the Catholics. Like, See how it just rolls off the tongue, the Catholics. You know, the Catholics, the Catholics, the Catholics, the Catholics. The Catholics, Catholics. The Catholics. It, what is the difference between saying the Catholics and uh, the Jews? Is there any difference between those two statements? Not well, everybody Catholics, comes at Matt. me with the Jews, so, <laughs> and then they get all uptight when I come at them with well, are we the all Catholics. to blame? I'm Catholic. Am I to the only difference the is that the Jews fathers? were not rounding about up and North 34 34 sent three dollars. I never, I didn't steal your stuff, Adam, so I don't mind. deserve to be called the Catholic. And I find that anti Catholic that. rhetoric very disturbing. We yeah. did. We stole okay, it. We well, took your, we took right. your menorah. It's on Sorry, the Sorry, I hurt your feelings, Matt. Yeah. You guys the, took my, the perspective of shit, like the perspective of traditional Protestants, like what I am, it's it's not e on either end of the spectrum. It's not anti Semitism, it's not Jew worship. It's sort of neutrality. We treat the Jews like we treat everyone else. They need to believe in Jesus Christ to be saved, but we aren't we don't have those historical pro programs or anything, nor do we have a theology that says the Jews are going to have some magical power to make Jesus come back. See, and I can live with that. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm an isolationist by nature. Like I don't need like, I, like I said on Owen Schroer the other day, if a nation can't stand alone, it shouldn't stand at all. You know, so like people don't need to like you for you to be sovereign. And that's the benefit of being a king. So like when it comes to Israel, Israel stands alone because it is a sovereign entity. And, but it doesn't um, know. But it doesn't know. It I mean, has. It has. It, it's been lobbied. It's been American lobbied for foreign interests. It's easier to lobby the 22nd largest economy and get it to do what you want what? than the first largest economy. I mean, would you accept welfare if you were perfectly well capable of taking care of yourself as a, as a righteous man? Yeah, you don't want to accept welfare. You don't and want. Why does Israel it's accept called, the welfare from America? Wouldn't it, that weaken their backbone? I, listen, to I'm a proponent of, of stopping foreign aid. You're not going to get any <laughs> argument from me here, Matt. So you hear say that all money going to Israel should be halted asap. And will they pay also, that to money Pakistan, to, to Egypt, to Ukraine, yeah. to everywhere? I agree. Turkey, North 34, 34, to, all three dollars on Woo, We're agreeing. Fuck Israel yeah. and Palestine. Well, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> the Jews Israel are good arguers, without man. the West. Fucking idiot. You guys, you guys. Irish aren't bad it. either. All the uh, money we Israel gave you guys, we need it all back. All the we what? Need it more than you do. Actually, yeah. Israel has a unique agreement with its foreign aid. Other countries don't have this requirement, but Israel's requirement for foreign aid is that it, it is exclusively used in American, uh, like the military industrial complex. So they get three billion dollars a year from America that has to be spent only in like with Boeing and uh, Lockheed Martin and stuff like that. It's like a really weird program. When America gives money to like nuclear jihadi Pakistan, they're just giving it so that Pakistan like lays low and doesn't mess with anybody. You know is, what I'm is saying? Is America giving the money or is it the corrupt establishment giving them? I realize. And, and is the money is. getting paid back to America or is it getting paid back to the military industrial complex? No, it goes to about the military it, industrial like, it really complex. has nothing to do with the American people or what Not America does or America wants yeah. or America needs. What America wants. It's like an America FTX. Needs. Yeah, it's basically, so we've been taken over. This is something that you don't seem to be able to possibly see, is that what's going on in Israel with the uh, destruction of Palestine could possibly be just another giant windup so the military industrial complex can have bloodbaths and have the world pitted against each other in a giant satanic war. But you think just because 34, somehow 34, this thing happened on Rumble. that uh, no more that, money. that now Simple. now the unlimited amount of muzzies, people could be mowed down and murdered for you to in, 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 uh, in Palestine. It doesn't seem doesn't seem legit. There's a you lot know, of things on the table, Matt, that I don't are think really... it's a fake war. 
spot. Really, these are really unique times. We're about to have a red heifer. I mean, that's like, <laughs> whoa. Gaga Magog's whoa. about to happen. Is he look, at, look, at, look at this. You know, look at this. Look at this. Can only come right? back we have to the AI. Earth. We have Prophecy AI. Can only We've come got back to the internet, earth and we're talking about burning the ashes of red heifers in the blood of the water. And, pretty remarkable. I mean, there's like, not one witchcraft. hair. It's pretty it's remarkable. There's not one hair. There's not one non red hair on the animal's body it's because it's been red, red that. it's, it's been an entirely bred. red it didn't cow. just like wait until one showed up in a field and be like oh my god i, I know and five it's showed up the, prophecy, the red cow is wrong. here it's like they're sitting there going make the, right cow, make the red cow make the red cow the guy's it's probably so there with freaking tweezers plucking it pluck, now well, yeah. let me ask you a question i said <laughs> this on tv the yeah. other day it's perfect me the rabbi shows up it has one hair that's not red and he's like nobody's looking he plucks no it's true actually one of the five cows was invalidated there's only four kosher ones now they invalidated one on a hair check oh, yeah. isn't the fucking i mean this our entire planet and the Let's saving from of Joel, humanity is getting on a yeah, hair yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't don't the red heifers get sacrificed after like April eighth? Is that that's yeah, the thing? Right? Do it I have no the... clue, but I hope it gets done today. I hope it gets done right now. On the Mount of Olives, they're gonna sacrifice it. Uh, I hope it gets done as soon as possible. Mosque. Yeah, April ninth yeah. after the fucking solar the solar eclipse, right? I hope it happens soon. Please God, let it happen soon. Please God. Please what do God, they do? They God. burn the red heifer. They take the ashes and roll blunts with it. What are they gonna do? <laughs> no, you're all esoteric. You know, there's semen in there too. That's like the secret part. The rabbis. Like, oh, yeah. And it's you very interesting. interesting. And the Christian oh, blood. Of course. Actually, so you guys want to hear some gematria? Gush Katif, which was the Israeli oh, yeah. settlement that I lived in in the Gaza Strip is the same gematria as paraduma which is the golden calf and so like this whole thing with going in back into god i know matt i know is it cat crazy or what the same gematria gush katif and paraduma what's the so, gematria uh I, I i could calculate it but it's uh it's uh you said the red heifer that's all is the golden calf believe in no i'll that say this for you it's a crazy torah man it's a people really have gotten torah. so superstitious in this modern era like we have so many I bigger love fishes it, dude. To I love you it. such a rich culture the uh, jews have such a rich catholic? culture it's beautiful me yeah well i was born catholic okay, uh, so you're not I, believing my, catholic well my my uh i i i'm a little bit more i i actually almost agreed with you on one of the when uh Suleiman Ahmed had you on, and you were talking about. Actually, was going to bring up a whole thing about it, but I let you, you. I'm waiting for you to actually say your part about what you think about Christianity. And it's so fake and Jewish. Fake that and Jewish. It up. Yeah, like, Jewish. Okay, so I have this thing, right? Okay, so I, I came up with it. So, so I don't know if Adam, if you believe in like Holy Spirit or a creation of the universe by some entity that is intelligent or not, but I do. But as for exactly how that all went down. I don't really know that I could say and the people that have faith by by the fact that you have faith that means you don't know and if you don't know then therefore you could be wrong and there's a lot of people around the world who think that they have the faith in the thing that it is but I feel God is real and a connection with the creator of the universe is a real thing and that's like the honey honey of the gods but see you can't sell honey because bees make it so what you do is you got to patent that shit and you got to product it and you got to have it it's got to be like a genetically modified corn syrup right? i got you so i you got you like a nation with, of priests chosen yeah. by god yeah and so, so the, all the, jews, goyim. the jews have created corn syrup and then the christians are like no well we've made coca-cola and then the other people are like well we've got cherry cola and they've got but they're all buying the corn syrup they're all buying the corn syrup and we're in this giant corn syrup factory when we could just go out into nature commune with the creator of the universe and eat the honey of the gods i vibe with the stoner analogy north 34 three dollars on rumble what do you Who think regime zoomer um are they ushering co. in the Let antichrist stand prophecy? is christian prophecy being fulfilled be the because the million. jews are doing what they're doing trying to rebuild the temple uh i don't think so jesus said you'll hear wars and rumors of wars but the end is yet to come so i the bible implies that word the end time the end Jesus's return is going to happen when we don't really expect it. So it could be tomorrow. It could be in 10,000 years for all I know. Uh, Jesus himself, according to his humanity, did not know when the end is going to be. So I think it's foolish to speculate on when it's going to be based on current news stories, because so many times throughout church history, people have been absolutely certain that the Bible is being fulfilled and Jesus is coming back tomorrow. But um, 
timeline kept advancing. There was that was the case during the Crusades, at the end of the first millennium, the Black Plague, the Protestant Reformation, all those great awakenings, the World War II, World War One, everything. So, um, but when I'm, Jesus I'm, returns, is he coming down in a cloud with the horse? You think that's going to really happen? I mean, I don't have a video of the first his ascension into heaven. So I don't know what it's going to look like, but whatever it's going to be like, it's going to be like he ascended into heaven. Hey, um, so if I were to ask like a Christian, like this question, um, what do you think like the shots were? Like 290, 90 million people might have got the fuck out of here. You know, like, um, do you think that that could be a sign of the end times? I mean, people just designing something to kill hundreds of million people. I just Mark of the Beast. Mark of the Beast fulfilled. Be, well, yeah. I mean, that's the one thing it might be called. Like, you know, I'm speculating. But I'm getting 100 million or 200 million people the fuck out of here. Um, is that Do you think that would be revelation or not? Revelation as in fulfillment of biblical prophecy. Once again, yeah. there's whatever gets the, the big guy to come back. <laughs> that thing. I like, not, I like that. I like that. He wants our, the big guy to come back, man. Here's, here's, here's the thing. That could We're have been not, we don't, as Joel gets it, the redemption of the world is really about the big guy coming back here to live amongst us again. The anti yeah, nations. That's that's correct. We don't make God come back. God comes back when he wants to come back. Bingo. That's the end hey, of I want to share with you guys a phrase in Hebrew that, that Jews like to say. We say Yeshua Hashem Ke'er. No magic, Adam. No magic. The salvation spells. of God <laughs> happens in I the I mean, suck my eye. dick in Yiddish. I mean, even we would agree you with guys, that, but... even you guys will be redeemed. Uh, I mean, I, we so appreciate hey, what do you? Uh, so, but... what do you guys got to think? Let's bring up the uh, crisis. What do you mean, King you King. guys? <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on, before you get to the crisis king, <laughs> King Val, you got. It. Hold on, yeah. before you do the crisis king, because I want to go there, yeah, but I, I want to just finish with okay, the end go, times go. thing. Question you for real quick. So, the New Testament says that it'll be like birth pains, nation against nation, wars, rumor, plagues, all these things, and. um so you do believe there has to be like end times wars, right? Like Ezekiel, Gog and Magog stuff. There's going to be wars before Jesus returns. We've already seen a lot of wars. There's the wars have gotten worse as history has progressed. We've seen World War Two. Uh, we've seen World War One. So that could have been it. And now we're just waiting for the last thing to happen. Or there could be a bigger war in the future. The Bible is not Paul, a crystal didn't, war. didn't Paul say that the Lord will come before you, the disciples go to all the nations or something like that, and it wasn't fulfilled? There is a twofold fulfillment of the prophecy. The first is the destruction of the Jewish temple in 70 AD, which did happen exactly as Jesus predicted it would happen. And that's why scholars have to date the Gospels until after the destruction, because they think Jesus couldn't have possibly predicted this. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the, what, when it says that... And because Paul that. didn't mention the Gospels either. He, did, he wasn't aware of all the biographical details in the Gospels, and he lived before the temple was destroyed. So that's why they didn't exist before then. That's, they, they didn't have the internet back then. You couldn't just look up the Gospels. They were circulating. Oh, sure. Paul them. didn't know the Gospels and all the stories of Jesus. All he knew was what he saw in the Scriptures. That excuse doesn't cut it. Sorry. So the, uh, like I said, the, when it says about, like, this generation will not pass away... That's talking Zionist about the destruction of the temple in 70 AD. But there's also a final folks. return of Christ. Another good one, And Ralph. Jesus himself, according to his humanity, But did he didn't return anything. in 70 hey, AD, though. I got a question for Deep Zoom. He didn't come back in 70 AD. Go ahead, King Bob. I don't want to make this attack a Christian. You know what I mean? But, like, I got a question for you, bro. Hey, yeah. if P. Diddy is real, and he was, like, <laughs> blackmailing people and... And you don't believe in P. Diddy? If, if he was, if there was an Epstein thing and they were like sacrificing kids and like all the richest people in the world are like doing, oh, are doing terrible shit to like children and stuff. Like if that is real, um, don't you think that that would mean that we were probably run by Satanist pedophile fucks? And like if we're run by Satanist pedophile fucks and we just got 200 million people to fuck out of here with a clot shot, um, what, what time do you think we're in right now? Like we, what? Uh, this to me seems like it would be revelation. Satan know. rules the Satan rules the world, man. That's yeah. what the Bible Things do seem to be getting worse. I'll give you that. I think that we're getting closer to the end. Whether we're gonna be at the end in a few years or a hundred years, I don't know. I think years. I think we're gearing up for the grand finale. Bro, you, but don't that's my bro you don't have a hear me out respectfully, bro. This is what I'm trying to say. This is my okay. problem with Christians. 
Like I, I used North to want to be a pastor. I used to want to fucking be a traveling minister Trump and all this Bible. shit. Had a spiritual awakening. We can talk about that at a different time. Um, still love Jesus. Thank Jesus, the man. Like the example of whatever he stood for. Think it's awesome. Unconditional love is the way. But hey, um, if I'm here, I think I'm here to war. And right now, there's a lot of fucked up shit that's happening in the world. And to me, it's it pisses me off when I we might have a hundred year list. I'm not living like we have a hundred year list years left. You understand what I'm saying? I just watched 200 million people die. <laughs> just watched a whole bunch of people get the fuck out of here. And to like, I think that that's the problem. Is like, if this is revelation, like Adam's getting excited because they got the red heifers, right? Yeah. Like his team is I'm winning. I'm down on this one. His team is kind of winning right now because he's like, I'm yeah. On and like the Christians are just kind of like, well, Jesus is going to come back. You're not really playing. To me, it's like you're not really playing to win. If you can't admit that some fucked up shit is going on right now and Satan is pedophile fucks might rule our world, then you're not like, like a whole thing about being a warrior is being able to identify a threat. Yo, Joel, let me tell you and assure you that the Messiah is coming very near to conquer all these Satanist pedophile fucks. Okay, yeah, so this is a, I think there's a good transition to saying Christ is king. Because when we say Christ is king... I will say we, that the Mashiach is king. We Christ is the Mashiach. When we say Christ is king, <laughs> Here we go. what we mean is that <laughs> no, matter, no matter what kind of satanic government psyops there may be no matter what kind you of evil governments Jassel may arise jesus Rumble. is still Preach more K. powerful than them and because of that we don't need to have any existential fear and that might be annoying to you it might be annoying to you that christians don't have existential fear but for all of history people have thought the end of the world was near because some bad stuff was happening we're not that special bad stuff has happened before well, i gotta say I, I always hear them they're like oh there is wars and rumors of wars and there are i'm like dude this I is actually like, like the this entire week, history Lee of Jared humanity but yeah king bow's right i mean Jews what is god waiting Jesus. for i and actually like the free beam zoomer guy he reminds me of like mainstream how many kids got to get the drug blank? The they like want it to blank. happen, okay. but they like don't want it. They're like, maybe it might not happen for a couple hundred years or something like that. Well, but like the real, uh, the, let me tell you well, about the, hey, let me the redemption. Rumor. Let me say something. Brother, the redemption is about brother, free yeah, will. We, have to mer we, we can merit it. We could do it ourselves. Guys, we could do this thing. Man. Hey, we can bring that on. I'm not here. I look at you, brother, Which and what you just said, and I hear what you're saying. We know you're a I would never disrespect your faith. I would never disrespect Christianity, and and I love how your faith is like, okay, God's going to come back. There's nothing that he can't handle for us, and that's why we put our faith in him totally get it right yes. i believe that thoughts create reality mm. i believe I mean, the universe is mental and i believe that that I I believe everything is mental and jesus them. preached let me tell you jesus a little bit preached about the chosen people before okay. every miracle every what ever. was the question that he asked do you believe it's been proven that our thoughts can literally impact our physical well-being and the external world so if that's the case it's like if your belief is it, it, people can manipulate beliefs people can tell you lies and like adam green said satan to me rules the world and there's Liam nothing Jarrett more important than being able to I identify a threat in and if i believe that i'm a warrior for god then to me i have to identify the threat prepare myself to attack it head on and and to me, in this world, it's 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 right now we're it's in a fucking, still though. The, 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 no, world, three, world War Three is mental to me, and that's why we have to mentally be able to identify threats because things can hide in plain sight. People just walked in and got a fucking death shot when people like me were screaming for four fucking years, "Hey, don't do that!" How did? people allow that to happen well the people had to have the worst intentions possible and i have to be able to identify those intentions to me i have to be able to do that and i know that there's a lot of christians right now who might not be on a on a space like you are right now talking about your faith right they haven't spoke up and said hey maybe we should address this issue that's the problem that i have that's that it's 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 and it's all religions everybody's got people in their religions that 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 do the same thing i just think now is the time to act and i think people are losing and i think that the enemy is much closer to the end goal if we don't fucking do something if we don't use our brain and go 
We are winning and we are doing something. Joe. We got to be warriors. I agree with you. We are King getting Dao. there, brother. We are so close. So King Dao was right. We got to be warriors. <laughs> we got to we gotta fix things ourselves, not wait around for a Messiah to come and save us. Right. Let alone some of what, some of what hey, if I keep eating Doritos, what the fuck is that going to do? <laughs> I agree with some of what King Bao said. In a sense, Christians do believe that Satan is the prince of this world. The Bible does call him that. And that's why the that that's why the world is indeed ruled by evil and that's why we need to pray for jesus to come back as soon as possible also the bible says we are warriors for god but with a very important qualification we can't do it on our own terms in the bible whenever people try and fight against evil nations against evil powers without turning to god without having faith in god god makes them lose the reason america is falling to all this satanism North 34, and all these evil government psyops and stuff is because people we have abandoned PPL faith in Jesus join our Christ. communities and That's until they turn back Europe. we are going to see crashing. this getting worse and worse and worse and it doesn't mean we're going to have like the quick release of the apocalypse it might just be that america and the west dies and we have to wait 500 years for something to be built back up again so i don't have much hope for the country unless everyone turns to jesus if not you know, we're there's there's many ways that the redemption can come actually and there's like a built-in system by god's creation that triggers an automatic uh setting of the redemption and um Get yourself so a but the, bed, the thing i like the most the is actually, there's like a lot of jewish scholars who write about this in length that we can merit the redemption through our own righteous actions and in every and here's something that really is a major difference between Judaism. Wait, wait, wait. Adam, say that again. Can you say that again? What is what is your people Christians believe? Want our country say that we can merit redemption through our own actions. Interesting. What were you gonna say after that? So there's a very different perspective on the Mashiach between Judaism and Christianity, in the right. sense that, and this has to do with the the idea of what happens to somebody after they die. Because Judaism is very clear in its approach to life after death and its reincarnation. Reincarnation is a fundamental tenet of Judaism. And our culture is really based on these 600,000 souls that keep reincarnating in every generation. I haven't and heard so, that. There's only 600,000 so, actual people. The rest are NPCs. Yeah. So actually, no, there's Jews. this amazing... 600,000 Jews. <laughs> there's an amazing... Oh, well, I forgot Jewish we're souls. going of the animals. Jewish souls. Oh, there's, Jesus. This is just like the souls oh, of our people. No, we're, we're just like the shards. Souls can be, in, no, in how, the, how many Jews are on the planet? <laughs> so Where are all the souls? Are you? Is this like soul inflation? Is everybody yeah, getting like, with like you? five of soul now? Or Souls aren't what they used to be. You used to go to heaven. You get one soul, you're in. Two people, you know, now nowadays it's, each person's going in with like a half got a soul. point adam Let's, <laughs> he's got a point these souls, are, these souls they're not like what you would consider like a soul like an individual person it's a it's an energy called the nishama and, and it's like a like a piece of god that god in, in embedded into the world and it's the ana animation of the body and okay. that's those 600 soul thousand souls get subdivided some of them break apart into two or two people Do we have to pay interest on them though no, i'm actually sharing with you a fundamental concept that we would like to share. we will give you a soul but then you owe us 1.3 souls back okay. oh, yeah. 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 if you're a mad jew yeah. your soul reincarnates as a goy and i'm done with this thought but i'm going to get this thought if out if you don't pay your taxes hey let adam finish really, let, let, let him finish, finish. Let let finish. Let i was going to cut it go ahead Go so so Adam and then redeemed and then I got a question. Okay, okay so I'm going to finish this off. So basically, what the Messiah is is the soul of Adam from the Garden of Eden, and that soul became different souls throughout creation. One of which was King David, and that soul, which is unique to its punishment, is that it would incur death after eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And so that experience is the experience of reincarnation. There are some souls, they travel up to heaven, they sit in the higher world, because before the eating of the tree of knowledge, heaven wasn't up and earth wasn't down. They were one world. That eating broke them in half and divorced Zionist physical from spiritual in a specific way. Ralph, ask Adam King and the spiritual went really up and the physical went down and thus started this cycle of death and reincarnation. Now there, that soul of Adam when when god refers to it as working his curse by the sweat of his brow 
it's this constant reincarnation and that's the soul of the messiah it's this soul that reincarnates in every single generation in <clears throat> judaism the messiah is always here it's a soul that exists maybe that's why they want to get rid of is people because they want to get us back down towards one soul per person. Person. No, sometimes the messiah doesn't even want to just be a part of society and is like has a little falafel stand in the middle of nowhere sometimes so would it make sense that they want to depopulate the world? Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. Christianity believes that when you die. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, let, let, let Zoomer get in. We, and then we got it. Finish. Hold yeah. on, let me finish. All right, all right, all right, all right finish. Go ahead and finish. Sorry. I'm going to So Christianity believes that when you die, you either go to eternal hell or eternal heaven. Judaism believes that when you die, you're reincarnated, or maybe your reincarnation happens 200 years later, or something in history and time. But we're here to do a specific amount of actions until something called the Tehiyatame team happens, which is the revival of the dead, at, where, where death doesn't exist anymore for all people. Mm -hmm. And that is the thing that the real, true end of days Messiah comes to do is he is eliminate the process of death and redeem humanity so that it's back in its lofty state as it was created in the Garden of Eden and rectifies this original sin that took place. Is and, and help and help that's the Messiah? Jewish Messiah, is this soul, okay. the, this concept of the suffering Messiah is that this this soul is constantly reincarnating. Where other people get breaks okay. for some Adam, hundreds Adam, of years, this soul is always living. Because uh -huh. it's becoming like a, a speech. But... um. This is a lesson, so you can understand the no, Jewish no, concept no, no, of yeah. Messiah. Yeah. It's important that you know what we do. Here's the thing. Why is it, Adam? Explain this. <laughs> what, you know, back to the Christ is King thing. I told you the other day. Everyone's losing their shit over the word Christ is King. Apparently, it's offensive right. to Jews. And I, I told Adam, and uh, he was on space. I was like, how is that different than saying you're the chosen people? We're the chosen people. I mean, that's saying you're better than everyone else. I mean, if you think about it, Christ is king at least leaves the door open for you to accept Christ. Whereas the chosen people, you don't just get to like metamorphose to become a chosen person. You're just de facto a less of a person because you no, are not All the goy chosen. have to bow down to Moshiach. It's exactly would, the same. I would right. say I would say Every that. Every noble bow wasn't a Christian thing. That's the Jewish thing. No, let's I would say say that, that um, bow. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, yeah. So first of all, with the whole uh, Messiah thing, there's some similarities and differences to what we believe. So we agree that when the Messiah finally returns, when Jesus Christ, who is the only Messiah, finally returns, yes, there will be a resurrection of the dead. Death won't exist anymore. Death will be thrown into hell. But um, everyone who does not believe in Jesus will also be thrown into hell at the end of time. So that's that's the, what Christianity teaches. But saying so Christ do you is think thing. Jesus just came around and like changed the entire Jewish conception of reincarnation. Is like okay, reincarnation doesn't exist anymore, and like now you either go to hell for eternity or heaven for eternity. Jews have a concept of hell. It's only an eleven-month sentence. Is the longest anybody can ever go to hell. Okay, but, great. Um, North you think, okay, great, but this is our concept of uh, so Jesus was a Jew. And months actually exist in hell, move. like they have He's like that a little sun fuck and a with the bomb. Yeah, it's based on the time of the creation. Yeah, okay, it's all based clocks. on the time of the creation, and then when you serve your function, your your tikkun, your fixing, you go to heaven immediately and await the 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 Mashiach. And then you could be brought back into a physical body again. Interesting. That, so that, that is interesting. Um, I was going to say with the whole Christ is King thing, Christians, we do believe we are the chosen people. The chosen people are is the church. We think the church is a true continuation of the Old Testament Israel. And we think the chosen people is anyone who submits to Christ as King. So you can join the chosen people if you submit to Jesus as your Lord. If you submit but you to can't Jesus. join the join being um, Adam uh, King. Can you actually become a chosen person, or do you have to be part of the bloodline? Yeah, people convert to being Jewish. Yeah, but are they chosen? Conversion is not recommended, and like it's part of the process of conversion. Answer the question. Yeah, that's, dude, that's I, I, you want us to be chosen. Like, yes, you join. The, if you were talking about people, is can people join the Jewish nation? Yes. And no, you can you be part of the Jewish nation? That's Jesus, that was what Jesus. That was what Jesus. Or Gerd you know, you, 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 There's ways to be a part of the Jewish people without having to be Jewish. You know what I'm saying? Like Noah. Uh, yeah, yeah, and if you stick, if you are calling the Jewish people the chosen people, then yeah, I, I always don't like referring to myself as chosen. It gives me a like a complex. It bugs me out. But like, if hey, you want me to scripture. accept that that's role for this that's panel, I will be chosen. You find a quote. I don't, have a, I don't have a problem. That one, you have a problem with why? Take I don't have a problem with referring Shia. the church as the chosen because the church is the ch the church is the bride of Christ. Uh, however, Jesus was very critical of the Pharisees, the Jewish leaders at and the time. And the Jews are the bride yeah. of God. That's how Jews believe. 
for believe sure for believing yeah, that yeah, all bright it's it's very uh, I just be like sound really gay, of honestly. christ you know, have to be that the that the giving of the torah on mount sinai was the wedding of the jews and the jewish people and god and what's remarkable about the this ceremony and this is why or the, this or is the, why christians yeah. did not absorb the uh, chosen status of the jews because it the first tablets moses goes up on the mountain and re receives them and comes down and by the time he gets back down b'nai israel the children of israel are engaged in absolute licentiousness worshiping the golden calf cheating on their wife that. like right at right as <laughs> they were getting the bull, canopy, red bull, you know what no I'm and, and then you put it in the I moonlight mean, and the so process good. of redemption in this moment god could have let go and said okay it's worthy for me to let go <laughs> And so in this moment, like God could have let us go, but instead he gave us the, the Yom Kippur because this was the process of redemption. The purpose of the world is about redemption. It's a lesson. God is speaking to us through the actions that took place on Mount Sinai because he gave the Torah again and the, and the, and the two tablets were given a second time. And if God didn't want to instill that, people as an eternal covenant he would have never allowed for there to be a second giving of the torah so it's very yeah. important to understand this when when christians say that god has chosen the christians to the and the jews have been left and forgotten god is our lover yes. and and i see i see god's love in my life every single day it's hard for me to believe that God stopped favoring me. I, I, even though I feel uncomfortable with that amount of pressure, like if you want to know the truth, I'm madly in love with God and I love what God does for me constantly. Just the fact that I'm on this panel right now makes me humbled before his presence. I love my creator and I, in my faith, pledge to be that spouse to that creator. And that's what it means to me to accept the Torah on Mount Sinai is that I am the wife of God. Those are sentiments we would share. I have, to, I have to go in a second. Those are sentiments we would share. And St. Paul expressed great grief over the fact that the Jews who won't submit to Christ will not be saved because he loves their devotion to God and to the scriptures. Uh, but Christ is king. I am, I'm sorry I have to go before we talk about that. Well, Redeem Zoomer, let me you ask know, you one question. Do you believe yeah, yeah, that Jesus yeah. is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Yes. Yes. So Jesus if I just want to pray to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, why are you so obsessed by what I call it? If I'm already facing that deity that you are saying that is Jesus, what is the harm of me just like praying to my deity and connecting in this loving, tender relationship that I feel that I have with the Bore Olam, North, the creator of the universe? North 34, because nobody can come to the wrong. Father except I'll through the English. Son. But that's a thing that Palestine. only you guys say. Also, we sir, don't say that. My tax I we say that it. every single human can come to God, the Creator, without the need for an intermediary. Yeah, and, and why, did, why, why, hey, why did so many Jews believe Jesus was the Christ and believe that He did fulfill the prophecies? And why, why was the schism there that a certain amount of people said, "Nah, He's not," and other ones said, "Oh, yeah, that's Him for sure." And then and to the point to where so many people, so many Christians exist on planet Earth that were, were based on Jewish people that believed the prophecy was fulfilled. When you talk about um, Christ is King, I mean, to almost if you want to go down that road, and I know you're not the one proponing this whole anti-Christ is King theory, but it's equivalent. I mean, just being Jewish in a way could be an affront to being Christian because you're basically spitting if your your Messiah in in the in the minds of the the Jews that believed came. They're like he came, and you're like, nah, he's not. So you're would, literally yeah. denying your own Messiah and exactly. spitting in the face of the person you that want you're to know waiting something. on. So what is the reason exactly. why you do not accept him as the Christ? So check this out, Matt. It's about a fundamental disagreement on what the Messiah is, not who the Messiah is. Because Judaism believes that the well, Messiah, the Messiah is reincarnated. Isn't listen, it who they are? The, listen, the, the multiple Judaism Messiahs? Believe, what was that? Isn't there multiple Messiahs? In Judaism, the Messiah is more like the Avatar. You get the how that TV show, the Avatar. Okay. It's the soul that reincarnates in every single generation. 
And Liam um, Jared sent two dollars like, on Rumble. There oh, is oh, the Mashiach. Let, let me let me cut it one the second. Mishia. Because, yeah, yeah, because I'm talking about the Mashiach. Yeah. Wait, oh, I don't want the concept. So listen History to this. Uh, Jews, like during the times the of Jesus, there was like this messianic fervor. There were a lot of people who they thought were the Messiah at this time. It doesn't mean that the Messiah wasn't available in that generation to reveal himself, and it doesn't even necessarily mean that. For all intents and purposes, if Jesus was truly a, a Jew and truly lived, I know Adam Green doesn't believe that he lived, and he actually could puts out very compelling evidence, which surprises me because I've been arguing with him for months that Jesus really existed. And it's I actually encourage everybody to listen to what he has to say because it's like really thought out and he explains a lot of things very well and it makes you think, but it doesn't d diminish who Jesus is in, in Christian lexicon <laughs> or what Jesus is. But let's just say for all intents purposes. Let's just say for all intents and purposes, Jesus is either live. God or a totally. No, wait, let me let, hold on. Let me let me stop. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let me let me stop it for a second. Let me stop it for a second. Hold on, Adam. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, wait. We're talking the whole time, not anybody else. Just wait for a second. There was a lot of messiahs that came and failed as messiahs. But I know, I know, the mission, and that could have been Jesus. He could have failed. All right. Now I know redeemed only has so much time. That's why I because I we all still die. Like if, dude, if yes, came, Adam, right, no, hold on one sec. Dead again. Hold on one sec. King Bao said he, he said he had a question, and I wanted to see if yeah. he still wanted to ask his question. I know this seems like a year yeah. ago now. Uh, Sorry guys, but, be quiet. Hey, hey, hey I'm patient. I'm patient yeah. because I feel like this is. No, it's great. Like no, I love it. I, I just wanted to make sure you could ask your question before everybody retweet this. I tagged you all. Retweet it. I got you already. Please, sure. Sure. Appreciate you. I, appreciate you. I don't know why you guys didn't put out a flyer. Okay, King, King Bao. King Bao. Yours didn't have the link, King Bao, go ahead and then I, I just, just want to see if Redeemed wanted to, to answer this. So this, this is for everyone. Answer. This yeah. is for everyone. At what point in time do we believe that free will, intuition, and intention, like, matter for all of us? My answer is never because I'm a Calvinist. Um, I believe that, that. I don't know. Explain that. Sure. I, I believe that everything is controlled by God, really. Uh, there is no free will? There is free will, but it's subordinate to God. So even though we do have freedom in some sort of earthly sense, at the end of the day, it's God who controls everything. So we need to submit that to God. And there is no freedom without God. So, so even are, you, you, are you capable of having an answer in your own mind or does God already have it planned out? So you're like, well, I guess what I think is what you mean is to fulfill the program that God is plugged into the back of my skull. I will say this. And at that point, why even bother talking? I there's it's the it's the concept of predestination. It's uh, it's been a debate within Christianity. I, I believe in predestination. And I believe everything is part of God's plan. Everything is the unfolding of God's plan. Now, because God is so far above us, that doesn't contradict the fact that we make choices and our choices matter. It's kind of like we're the characters in a story and God is the author of a story. But he God knows the, the ending. Uh, it completely knows the ending. Yeah, God knows what's going to happen. He's just and watching that's, that's reruns. Why, He's just watching that, reruns. We're just a rerun, guys. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah, that, why, this is like season 30. Like, and that's know, why I'm not... So that's why it's no wonder God, God hasn't come back. He's probably will. fell asleep with the remote. He's like, oh, no, God, I'm going to go back again. Gonna, hey, wait, 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 wait. Adam, I'm going to agree with... I. There's the... Like, this is a brilliant podcast. Ex Nihilo, to create something again. North from 34, nothing is the greatest $3 act $3 of on free will. When a okay. wicked big dog so was God, oh, 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 so so God didn't exist and created himself to exist. No, 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 no. That God is free will. That is Kirat Chovshit. When when an essence goes from non-existence to existence. In Christianity, it's called ex nihilo. Doesn't happen. Yes, but that happens. In Hebrew, it's called Stuart Pak. They didn't happen that in the universe. They didn't happen to God. God. Hey, what if hey, I'm just gonna pose another question? Okay. I will pose another question. Well, let me point uh, out real quick. Let me can I just say there's no way nothing can become something. God has always been here. The universe has yeah, always God been has here. Always mathematics, been here. there's literally no way you can have a big bang, which the the mathematicians say there was nothing and it got really dense. What got dense? And it exploded, exploded into what out of right. what with no, what no, by what? Okay, there's King no Bow. way go, the universe yeah, has been Bow. here forever. Look, he's yes, go, ahead. King Bow. <laughs> go ahead, King Bow. What, Bow. If, what if maybe? might be potentially we were all part of god like amen what, that what is that is called that that the thing. Thing. absolutely that's called I mean, I'm hey, if i'm just saying hey i'm just saying i think that when we i do agree with uh, um some ideas maybe that adam is talking about 
I do agree with some things, but I think of it a little bit different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because like the perspective is. Well, is Adam disagreeing that we are we are part of God? No, we are a part of God. Yes, that's okay. what makes us so special. Yeah. That's what humans yeah. are. Yeah. That's why we're the wife of God. You humans said are free. the wife okay. of God because God imbued Himself into us. He made us, but Selim Elohim in the exact image of Himself. Okay, it's so a great conversation. Yeah. I gotta head out. Thanks that's for okay. talking, guys. Sounds yes, great. I appreciate, oh, you. I appreciate, I appreciate you. Thanks, you. thanks a lot, Redeem. Yeah, so you, does that mean? So so this is my perspective. Take Where did go? Take it or leave it. This is my perspective. I think that we're all. God. He didn't pull a gap in the I think that we're all co-creating this reality. And I think that you are your ancestors. That's why you're fucking here now. Your parents and your grandparents and your grandparents, grandparents, and your grandparents, grandparents did a lot of fucking for you to get here now, to be here. And you are the best version of the evolution of whatever they created. And in essence, they have also been a part of God, right? They've, they've continued to exist so that you could. Right? That's a part of survival of the fittest. Yeah. And what is survival of the fittest? Evolution and getting fucking better. How do you get better? Well, first, you got to humble yourself and you got to destroy your ego and you got to seek wisdom, which is experience, which is fucking free will. So if we continue to get better, growth is the infinite principle of the universe. That's what I believe. I believe growth is the infinite principle of the universe. And I feel like you're either growing or you're dying. And if you're not fucking growing and you're not giving back to humanity, it's give and receive. And if it, the universe can only give you what you become. So honestly, I, let, I, I feel I, I feel that there's no way, and this is just my, I don't know the mind of God, obviously, but I believe, I feel deeply in my heart that there's no way if God North knew the 34, absolute, 34, cent, every $3 part of the total outcome Flat of Earth it, is real that he would love that bother even with that. playing how do you the feel game. About the I mean, that's away. like that's like watching a calculator figure out a number. You like you, you hit the button, you get the answer. Like, death, boom, let's get out the answer. And that's, 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 that's the secret right. of the multiverse. That's a waste of time. Matt, that's the secret of the multiverse. All choices of free will are simultaneously happening at the same time. Well, Matt, I was saying, okay, so... I agree with you, but I feel like that's why free will has to come into play because at some point in time, you decided to be Matt Baker. You decided to be the cool guy on the fucking internet with the dreads, exactly cool your opinion, exactly your opinion, <laughs> becoming who you are, being on Fox, being on Alex Jones, having a guy like me know who the fuck you are before I even come on a podcast with you. Like you've done know, things dude. to become Baker's you like after to impact sleepy. this fucking world. And dude, the I only believe in free will. I do believe it. That, 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 that is the what truth. That is what you have been. So this is God playing out its role through you, because in my opinion, you're leaving a positive dent on reality. That's the fucking point. We, if we, we can only earn what we become, and we can only give what we have. And you have become a man who can now give value. So what does God do? Righteous, what is righteous and good is what God does, which is provide value to the world. The food, the food produces seeds. It's fucking never ending. We have all the abundance and utopia here right now, but we got Satanist pedophile fucks who are destroying our world and taking it from us, right? And I feel who's like allowing that to happen? Right? What? Who yeah. created Satan? Who put him in charge of the world? Who's allowing that the to happen? Just <laughs> 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 <So funny. laughs> that was a beautiful placement, Adam. Thank I call you. it the cult of Baal. I, because that's what its name is. There's, there is the Satanist pedophile fucks. But there's also the cult of Baal. There's like many different forms of this evil, and they're all competing to be top E. You know what I'm saying? And but they but there is like like one of the main ones with the pedophiles is the is actual cult of the cult of Baal. And this is Francois Henry Pinault and that whole you know click over, you know, Selma Hayek's husband and stuff like that. And that is the cult of Baal. There's other people that are unified, like the Satan gets around, man. He's like constantly Adam, trying Adam, to like, yeah, I wanted, some people, I to some some people believe that you, you, Adam, some people believe that you and your people are those Satanist pedophiles. So it's I'm so just saying crazy. that you know, I want you, hear me out, because I want you to uh, differentiate the difference between what your beliefs are and what those Canaanites or the Baal people that you just mentioned, what are the like, you identify the enemy. Because some people think that you, I'm just saying, like, right, right? Some people think that you are right. the enemy. So as your friend, I want you to show the differentiation between the two. Does that, okay, you know? Okay, so here's one of them, okay? In the Torah, God gives the Torah, right? And the Torah, you're supposed to fulfill all the mitzvot and the commandments. There are 248 things that you do. 
365 things that you don't do. Those are the binary options of free will, but we'll get back to that. In that paradigm, in the 365 things that you don't do, one of those don't do's is human sacrifice. And so, by the law of the Torah says that you're not supposed to have a human sacrifice. The process of Isaac and Abraham's hand being held back by the angel. Also, an interesting note, when this went down, Isaac was 37 years old. He wasn't a baby like he's pro projected on images in you know, churches and stuff. He was a grown man, fully conscious of what he thought he had to do. God stopped that because he didn't want human sacrifice. And the Canaanite religions, the cult of Baal, which is this ancient Canaanite religion, which is based on elitism. Baal means elite. It's this cult of elitism where you know they're so elite that they'll only feast on human baby flesh. And there's the actually this crazy sickness that goes on. And that might be what P. Diddy is a part of. I don't know what his connection to it is. I don't think if he was running his own circuit, that would be very impressive. The, uh, you know, the Epstein cult is well alive. The whole system is in place. People need to start paying attention to Francois Henry Pinault. That's why Kim Kardashian just sat next to Selma Hayek at that fashion show in New York like a week and a half ago. And they had that weird conversation that got spread out on all the tabloids. So you're saying you're not the enemy. So you're saying that the, that the Jews aren't the oh, enemy, that there's actually... We don't believe in human sacrifice. We That's don't all you have to do. So if you don't do human sacrifice, boom, you're in. Only animal sacrifice. Adam, what did you say ball meant? Baal means masters, but it also is like implied like masterism. Like, okay, I looked like, it up and you I said no order in lower four cents. Oh, right. so we aren't humans to Jews, but chat. Yeah, you know. hey, so I wanted to know, Adam Green, what are your thoughts? Seeing as you're, I don't know if you're, you never really said, I know you're definitely professing that whole like thing I was saying about how the the Abrahamic religions are basically you're all playing in that casino. So it's kind of like you, you always end up going back and the Jews can always like, yeah, but we're the chosen people or oh, but in the yeah. Torah and this and that. So no matter how many uh, versions of it you make, it's kind of like, they're always the pit boss at the end. God, you know, kind of mm -hmm. collecting uh, the, yeah. the playing in their sandbox. <laughs> exactly. Playing in their and, sandbox. And so, yeah. and so, but so in your mind, what do you think exists? Do you believe mm -hmm. that anything exists the war or, or like, uh, you know, Valhalla, or do you sure. think, yeah, total Valhalla. atheism, or and then and then also, do you believe that there is an entity or something, a Satan, or what do mm -hmm. you think that that because they're definitely Satan worshippers, right? Mm. Well, maybe people think they are, but that's just like another branch of Abrahamism. So, so to first answer your question, call me crazy, but I just don't believe that anybody was ever chosen by God. I don't believe in the nation of priests or God's special people that has a special relationship with God and speaks to them as His children. I don't believe that. So I don't believe in Judaism. And then obviously, if the root is rotten, I'm not going to believe in the branches, Christianity and Islam. Um, I'm an agnostic, leaning towards atheists. I've never really heard any good arguments for there being a God. I loved what you said earlier about, uh, they always like to straw man. It's like, oh, well, you believe in the Big Bang, something from nothing. Like, I think that's a Kabbalistic nonsense. And it does yeah. make no sense. Exactly like you said, um, everything you know, uh, came into a singularity. Well, what it was that everything and what did it explode into? So I, I think instead of there being an eternal God, there's just an eternal universe, no need for the God. But, but then to keep in mind that that thing all had all the mathematics within it because it didn't what teach itself mathematics. mathematics is just it's not um it's not proscriptive it's descriptive we're just describing no like, because, the because if you like, drop, another, if, if another you drop, side you're world, right we're describing the reality universe, these things we're could be describing reality that's not true look at it look at a look at a um an ice crystal will form in six sides it will form symmetry the symmetry not every is time eight. not every time every no, I mean, looks most different. times based on the mathematics hey, wait, 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 wait. can i can i hop in the mathematics of the speed of light the mathematics of time the mathematics of distance of length the whole thing, the way it's all dialed in with the number of atoms, the number of electrons and all these things, everything weighs out and everything has a thing. What about space and time itself? I mean, that's something pretty. This is why I'm agnostic right. and not completely atheist. Adam, you just said right there. Ahead, you just, Adam, you just said you describe it. Is that what you just said? We said it's descriptive. Like you're just Me? using. Yeah, we're describing like math. the laws of like nature. Doesn't exist. Okay, okay, okay. So, so I argue that i would i will pose a question to, to to everyone is life not but the conversations that you have with yourself no it's more than that 
Oh, that's wonderful. Life wonderful. exists whether I'm having conversations with myself or not. Beautiful. I love that. Okay. But you're still you having oh, well, no, no, yes. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> but but you're still having conversations in that life. So again, the life is separate from almost like your consciousness, but I your mean, consciousness exists within that life. Yeah. So what I'm is, not if I don't exist, the universe doesn't the universe doesn't exist to me. Is that what you're saying? No. No, I'm saying it well, all, that is true. all at once. Um, and I'm, I'm saying, what I'm saying is, I believe that we are all conscious or God is consciousness and that he is experiencing reality through all of us. And that's why everything is fucking created and everything is a feeling that we literally project. Exactly. I think therefore it's, I am. It, it's the car. It is. Okay. There is yeah. separation <laughs> and there is not separation. And that, so like to get back to kind if of a tree Matt, falls in the forest and Adam Green is get back to it. what Matt was saying. But to, but to take that to the about, huge stretch that the God of the Bible is real, that's that's where yeah, 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 the bridge so Check this far. out though. Of course. So okay. to get back to what Matt was saying about reality being created out of nothing and that nothing couldn't create anything out of something, that what Judaism really is, is this. Uh, God is something called Or Ein Sof, which is translates to the light without an end. And North it's this infinite light. $3 on and in order to create PPL, this world and this we reality so that we could experience separation from one Better another, I could say, yo, Adam Green, yo, Matt Baker, Joel Bauman, Ethan Ralph, we're all separate people. In the world of Or Ein Sof, there's no such thing as a separation. So God created a feature in his reality called uh, the the tsimtsum which is a restriction of his light and once that the, the part of orange sof that received the tsimtsum beneath it trickled light into this world which basically created every substructure of reality in this world like buildings and government structures and and even you and i as each other like that we appear to be forms. separate we hmm. appear to be separate but there is an interunity that binds us, which is God separating himself in creation to have this experience like Joel's talking about. This is what I'm saying, though, about how the, the um, they say black holes and the Big Bang is like, they're like, oh, it's predicted. The scientists on TV are like, it's predicted in the Zohar and it's so close to it and stuff. That's what makes me think that's where they actually came up with that idea. Maybe. I think a lot of science mines the Zohar to try to find answers to equations in physics. So, so the, the, the divine cool. the divine light that of the 600,000 Jewish souls that comes from the Moshiach couldn't be contained in the 10 vessels that were shattered. And our Gentile souls come from the shards of, of the Kelipa, and your souls are the divine sparks of light that are scattered now and concealed in exile among the shards? No, actually it's quite different. So the way that reality is structured is in it, it, it is is there there's this world and in this world it's like talking about the the blue, it, there's like a world that's just the blueprint of reality before reality is created and this world is called atzilut and in this world um the re, like there's just a code of what's what's going on and, and that's where free will exists and so your question uh adam it, can you ask that question again, just so, so, because that's a loaded question. It was so complex. You're the, the, the Jews' souls are the divine sparks of light. Oh, right. So, there's the two, Kelepa, and our there's souls two are the structures. Shard. There's two structures in that world of Atsilut. One is called Igulim, and the other is called Kav. And it's a way to understand the structure of reality and how everything was created. And in that structure of reality, there is an interconnectedness of the Tzvirot that blend with each other. From the original print of the Tzvirot, which is called Adam Kadmon, the original man. And then from that, all the different trinkets of all the genetic breeding that ever took place in all of history phases out into the many faces of God, which are called Partsuthim. So why does, the, part why does Havad team, and the Tanya say that Gentile souls emanate from the evil other side of the Sitra? I don't know, dude. I'm not such a fan of... Uh, look, I'm a fan of all Jewish <laughs> scriptures and stuff like that, and I read their books. That, that are, that, that, I read their books, but I'm really for. into like I'm really into like Breslov Hasidut, and in general, like I'm just kind of like a free for all with all the books, and I get into like. What about the Talmud? You think, you think Chabad really is wrong Rambo, about that? Man. Moshe Chaim Lizato. You what think you think Chabad is interpreting that they're they're her heretics? They're not true Kabbalists. They got that wrong. No, they like they teach parts of the Kabbalah, but like Hasidut is kind of like like Kabbalah made acceptable for the layman, you know, and like there's all these Kabbalistic 
concepts that are really hard to like grasp and bring into reality. Kabbalah is actually just a language to describe uh, an experience that one can have with God. It's not a language. So there's all these words that could describe mystical, all these things that you could do with God. It's mystical stories yeah. about Judaism. It's not a language. You can't call it a ling language. No, no, means no. The actual Kabbalah is a language. It's words like Erech Anpin it's or It's a language. language. It's the secrets it of the it's Torah. I mean, it's just stories the written, written for probably in the have a conversation without century. using foreign words that we don't know what they are. What is I'm everything that we have to be like? It's the Chatechavalecha. I want to be known, Matt. I want to be known. Like, can't um, we just have a, like hey, a conversation about things? But so, he, um, yeah. So too high level Kabbalistic, Adam. They they can't keep up with the lingo. Okay, I, I believe everybody. Kabbalah is for everybody, and the the redemption of the world happens when Kabbalah is spoken in the streets so freely you could reach down and grab it. The Baal Shem Tov says it's everywhere. You know, so people are going to get hip to what Kabbalah is, which is having a personal relationship with God. Kabbalah means to receive. And it's when you receive, receive that one-on-one -on -one relationship, that, that authentic means. relationship, and it's a guide to help you navigate what that relationship is so that you understand how to exist. In the in grand scheme of things, this is, I mean, uh, when I heard you uh, on Owen's sh show, and I thought you did great, by the way. You always do good on there. Um, you were saying, no, I don't think what's happening in Palestine is a genocide. And then you, you went on to say, basically, that okay, there's 33, maybe 40,000 people have been killed, but then you ended up like basically chopping it down to where you you basically said, well, really, there was only 10,000 people that died. Right. Explain right. that to me, will you? So Israel has a database that the Mossad has collected over since Yasser Arafat just got started. Okay. Even before that, and and let's get let's get let's keep it moving. There's a database that comes <laughs> from uh, ta, uh, um, um, the Grand Mufti of basically Jerusalem, he was saying basically you were family. saying that they have a list of right. all of the people who are the enemy. They know so every. They, they have their pictures. They've been photographed yeah, I, getting into so cars. They, so when they they killed the twenty thousand of the people that died yeah. in in Palestine, like when you watch Fauda. When now you listen, watch Fauda, it's like what they do in Fauda. I just they want it to be a lot. I, I'm going to break down your argument. You tell me if I made it wrong. So you were saying 30,000. He's like, 33,000, 40,000 right. people. That's a lot of people. You're like, yeah, but. So listen you, to this, if, Matt. Well, if you take, I want to tell people at home. If you take out the 20,000-ish, you were saying, of people that were basically, you know, in the army. So you said that the Israel forces have them as enemy combatants. In the territory. And then they're terrorists in a database. So if yeah. they're in a database, then therefore they can be killed because they're in a database. So no, they are they, combatants. They are they are registered combatants. They're registered, registered. Okay, by by the person and yeah. by the by the political structure who you called Saint uh, uh, Hitler, Satan. You called you said Bibi Netanyahu was akin to Hitler. Right. And his power structure and his people that have been going around and checking their lists and making their their little lists of people like Nazis do. You're one. You're one. You're one. You don't think the deep state has a list of all of us and that we're all MAGA extremists. And that so if there's something popped off, they could just murder us all. And be like, yeah, but they were all MAGA extremists. So, you know, totally, Matt was a MAGA man. extremist. He was a MAGA extremist. They're a MAGA. And, and how do we know? Because we believe the deep state had a fucking list of us. You yeah. buy into that. You believe that. And now you're willing to just blanketly get rid of 20,000 human beings' lives based on a government said they were on a list. Yes, Master 33 no, that's not cutting it, bro. That, we're on that, a means, list. that means that the last like 10 the, the, the 10 out of the 30, which has been proven to be basically babies, so everyone but babies was, yeah, was, 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 like was all of those people. And then you went on to say, and then he went on to say, you said they mowed down the whole area. Look at the look at the aerial yeah. views. They mowed down because all of those were where Mossad is is hauling up and all of those buildings. So every single building in the entire mile radius was all a, a freaking hideout, you're saying, and that they did such a great job not killing people because they mowed down every one of those buildings and only killed so many people. People have legs. When they see things get blown up, they're running away. So you blowed up every single building. You're here to say that every single building in that entire area was a freaking holdout for their army, and therefore the entire area needed to be completely leveled down to the fucking bone. And you're telling so so basically they had the largest standing army on planet Earth where Bombs every single house was a person with a gun and a rocket.
That's why you have to blow down every single one. The bones Wake up. are the tunnels. Your country is destroying the people. You know, the bones were the tunnels. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you something <laughs> that I know. That there were times when we don't make mistakes i don't make fucking there were times excuses for the american Jews. government well, now that we've woken up and realized what a fucking bloodbath we've gone i don't make fucking excuses for that just because it's america or it's christian it's well i'll tell you rough. what matt. matt check this out because the invasion of iraq killed three hundred and sixty-five thousand innocent i civilians. was against roughly that translates to 4.6 percent of the city population <clears throat> By the numbers that are reported now of Gaza, which are 2.35 million uh, uh, people, it's only 0.36% of the population of potential innocent civilians that have been killed. So less innocent civilians have been killed in the taking of Gaza than in the taking of Baghdad. But then how in the many buildings of have been blown up and how many people have been killed? And then how I'm not disputing that, Matt. I'm not disputing that. War is a terrible, dreadful thing. Every single house. War is they a have terrible, the largest standing thing. army it, in the it, world. Are you, everyone over there. No one calls something no a genocide bread. that is no a bloodbath. It's not no a genocide. To, there was no hospitals. There was no churches. There was just everyone in their houses with guns just waiting to get bombed by Israel. Dude, honestly, I want to show you a video, man. I showed show this on the Adam. aerial view of the entire city blocks completely yeah. leveled in a non-surgical structure. And then the next day, they bring in the earth movers. So Half of those houses should roughly account for 1.125 million people. You're going to bring this down. Oh, if it was like carpet statistics. bombing, like everybody oh, thinks that's it was. Oh, that's 2.3, which is it's actually a good, it's a good deal, actually. You're only getting 20% of All these get people who scream, them. Israel's a genocide nation. All these people who scream, Israel's a genocide nation. How many nation, people need to die? That Israel's carpet bombing Gaza. If that destruction was caused by carpet bombing, there'd be a lot more deaths than even well, the entire amount of 30,000. How can you surgically attack every BBC single allows everybody to argue over like we're and doing right now? And then you bring in earth movers and just level the entire thing completely, move it so it's crazy, ready to build man. on. It's crazy. I can't wait to go back to my home in Shirat Hayam on the beach in the <laughs> Gaza Strip. Honestly, I used to live in the Gaza Strip until he's, 2005. He's got a vested interest. He wants to get his beachfront property he going. He said again. that on the It was show mine, before, dude. It was do mine. Promise, do it you was promise? Mine. Do you promise that you Israeli will never dance in that house? When you I lived never there, there was more peace between the Palestinians and the Jews. The Israeli government forcefully evicted me from my home, along with many others, in Gush Katif in the disengagement in 2005. The government to sign a us deal. All each other. To sign a deal of peace. And that is when Hamas uh, uh, and to sign a deal with uh, to make peace, and they re and maybe this is also a part of the psyop when the Israeli government did this, just like when the Israeli government stood down. I'm not We're denying the fact that there's one another. ability in the massacre of October 7th. Israel should have been the first first responder. It, they should have been there in five minutes from the beginning of the attack. Less. Do you, do you believe in a stand down? Do you believe in a stand down? I, I don't see how it wasn't a stand down. Jews are so. So if there was a stand down, that. how do you how do you know when to stand down, and how do you know where to stand down? You don't just like stand down. You this go wait. They're going to attack here. You got to stand down. And when do we stand down? That means you know when it's attacking. This is when the people come in. He already came to Adam. Listen to this, Adam. Everybody was the person. Listen. Adam, the person that sits there, let's say that other people did actually create the attack and weren't funded and weren't wound up like they do to people like, oh, Gretchen Whitmer, she was attacked by white supremacists. They weren't a they group were of funded by BB. It, it weren't a group of retards that were wound up and then they go, look, MAGA extremists. You're Just talking like about they, the can go, they can go over there and find somebody whose Gretchen father Whitmer. got murdered by Israel and go, hey, you but know, that wasn't by Allah Israel. That was an FBI. On this Israel day, and it will be open. Thing. That was that was the minute they stood the down. FBI. They are responsible for every single death. If you see someone coming into your house and they're murdering people, and you go, "Yeah, I'll get to them in a minute," but I want to make sure he kills my friend first. In your mind, you are now responsible for the death of your friend because you could have done it. So the deaths of those people beyond the certain point, beyond the five minutes that it should have taken to repel the thing, that they stood down at a specific time, at a specific date, at a specific moment.
They this are responsible for those deaths because they wanted to get the pretext like every other false flag in fucking history. I'll tell it's not you, just the Jews. They this did it because they wanted the fucking land and they there's no end in sight. They just keep mowing it down and they make excuses and it's bullshit. And we, I'm not even against the Jews. This is a fucking deep state world fucking controlling mafia bullshit. And in reality, they want us all hating each other. They want to undermine the Jewish people. They want to undermine white people by making us all Nazis. They want to undermine black people by making them to fucking thugs and Chris, fucking gangsters. They Mark, want to undermine Mark, everyone. Mark, Mark. So we're all pathetic and we Mark, all have no moral authority and we fight against each other and then AI comes along and fucks us all up. Now let King Bal get in. He, he was saying something there. We got uh, like an authentic Matt Baker rant right now. That did, is like yeah, a yeah. city council, <laughs> baby. That's a city Matt council rant right there. <laughs> I yeah. love it's that. such a good I point, Adam. Adam, you know, Adam. How, how can dude. Netanyahu fund They're playing Hamas. us all. These people are playing us all. Adam, um, how can Netanyahu fund Hamas, allow them stand down and allow them to attack? Like you, you can see to both of those, and then justify what they're doing in Adam, bombing every building in gaza and thousands of dead kids it's because undefensible there's a difference That's, between there's a difference between secular jewish nationalism and religious no messianic. they're both the same there, there's slight differences right, but they're both the same. Now, uh, we don't out. need the sacrifice it's, it's, we don't need the sacrifice of jewish blood or a reason to do what we feel we need to do in our own homeland to protect our own sovereign. So it's me. Right. This is we are the sovereign. Up by Bibi and his cronies, who no. you hate. They no. use he us. They use his us entire people in the new world for the order. Up Matt right. They're using us in their Why new world you, order. You've been brainwashed because of the Jew thing. <laughs> that we're going to attack you for being Jewish, and you're going to stand up for being Jewish. And now they've got us all playing this stupid game where you're standing up for your homicidal maniac, and we're supposed to stand up for our homicidal maniacs. Now, let's Joel, let, let Joel, let Joel get in there. He was, he was right. trying to say something. That I, I know I'm just letting things go and, and kind of. Nah, man, you, you just, I love, I love this. I, I do love too. This. Yeah, I, I also this. want to hear from Ethan at some point. He's just sitting. Well, there, I'm the like, moderator. You know, I kind of just let people, people go. <laughs> Come on, we need, him, we need some hollering, Ralph. Yeah, yeah, we, we need to be right there. I want to hear Joel. Let's go, let and go, Ethan. Don't Let's pretend go like you didn't study political finance, okay. Ralph. We know you got an I opinion know a little here. bit about guy, a little bit, yeah. Say. But uh, say political finance. You I want to hear political, Let's go it was political Jordan science Ralph. actually that that I had my degree in, not political finance. Although same thing, <laughs> not a major. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, political political science. Um, but yeah, I was just gonna let uh, King Bao get in, and yeah, you know, I have my my own thoughts. Of course, I you know I'm what you might call anti-Zionist. Uh, I think that that's well known, right? But when I'm in the moderator, I kind of take a back seat uh, to the guest. But yeah, if somebody has, you know, a question or something they want to ask me about all this, uh, you know, I tend to fall more into the Baker camp, I guess you would say, uh, uh, on these questions. But um, I, I enjoy hearing Adam King uh, lay out his points. And honestly, some of the stuff he was talking about Judaism, I didn't know uh, that stuff. Uh, and I know that... Um, you know, maybe annoy some people to, to hear that stuff, but actually it kind of, yeah, I like learning. You got to uh, convert, uh, Adam. You got to yeah. convert. No, 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 not converting, but like, I didn't know uh, that stuff about people, the 600,000 yeah. souls yeah. and I all this stuff. The love. Thanks, Ethan. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Believe, I, I believe that there's many hidden truths found throughout history, and the Jews have had some knowledge of that history for a while. And we see that same fucking history pop up all over the world, whether it's in the Toltecs or the Egyptians or the da da da. Like everybody believed what is kind of proven to be true with quantum science right now, which is that we are almost all beings of light. That we are, you know, you talked about water, Matt, earlier. Do, do, has anybody fucking do you, you guys ever heard of Masaru Emoto? Do you guys know who Masaru Emoto is? You ever heard that fucking name? Yeah. The messages in the water. He was a fucking famous Japanese scientist that studied thoughts yeah. affecting, affecting water. I remember on this. Home. He like, I, would like to I think How that might have been the a little low question. I, 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 I find it hard to believe. No, you know, I know, man. You because every snowflake that falls from the sky is on it, man. <laughs> Wait, hold up. But like what there's fucking peer reviewed studies. Like I'm not here to argue. Let's do our own studies. Yes, absolutely. Bro, I'll, you can do it with rice. I fucking done it with rice. Like I'm talking based off a of personal belief here, brother. This is all even, even the rice one. I haven't debunked for that one. I've seen it. 
Okay. Because because you're inoculating. If you know anything about inoculating, as you shake it and you're mean to it, you're like, ah, ah, ah. you're Man, spreading this them. This was through, tons of scientists would be so looking who, into this. What's personal development and why is personal development a billion dollar industry? I'm what not I, saying that. I'm not saying we can't we can't I'm focus saying. our money and create something. I absolutely believe that. I'm an artist. All right, I, I want to hear what you out of my say. mind. Yeah. Whether it's everything comes, everything. I believe it. So, bro. Okay. I want to hear what he's going to say. I believe. I believe that we have to become the best versions of ourselves. I and believe. the only way that we can become the best versions of, like, I feel like we all innately do have, whether it's called a destiny, we have a potential and we can do things to impact our being. If we couldn't, we wouldn't be able to eat healthy food. Why would they be poisoned in the fucking food? I mean, you could be born a Ferrari and just never put the pedal down. Yes. So, like, we're all born what? with... Oh, I don't want to go fast. I don't think... I might not be able to corner, and one day you put the foot Liam down. Liam Jarrett oh. sent $2 Ooh. on Rumble. Yeah, we're all... The green pill is this thing's first, made for speed, baby. Free. Oh, if you didn't reach some some type of potential, you wouldn't be on this panel with all of us. As if Adam Green didn't fucking become who his ancestors needed him to become to continue on his bloodline in whatever right. regard, then like we wouldn't be fucking here right now having a conversation. So I oh, feel man. like everything. I love all of you in deepness. I, I do. Like I'm glad we're here to have a conversation. I this is like, like we're not killing each other. Exactly. I feel like all right, of this dude. at the end of the day is like we have to take a responsibility for us. And when you talk about like Gaza, I feel it. I, I feel the passion in you in, in what you're saying. And then I see Adam just cool, calm, collected sitting here. You want to know why? Because it, I believe that beliefs create reality. I believe that the universe is mental. I believe that we're all creating reality together with our free will and the decisions that we make. And it's his people's belief, whether you believe it or not, that they are supposed to be doing all that they're doing. That's why he's sitting here. We're questioning him and going, well, what the fuck? In the same regard, Adam Green says, oh, I'm kind of an atheist. I don't know what, like, I wouldn't necessarily agree with. And Matt Baker, you've said some things. And, in, and Adam said, also said some things that even his entire religion other other people believe as far as like the native like the native americans they had weird fucking thoughts that we didn't necessarily believe right Woo! We had, yeah, yeah dude for the july yeah and the china yeah, bro, and ancient civilization has had things that they believed in right and a lot of them have believed that we are all doing this together that yeah. we are all and so i i agree I, that there's a righteousness i think that God, though, if God is if what God is, is righteousness or goodness or value. And I believe that that is why you aspire to give people value. Adam, regardless of what he believes, aspires to be the best version that he can be to show up for himself or his audience or the people that are in his life. It is innately in all of us that's driving us forward. And that's why I feel like we have a problem. You and myself, Adam might not. Adam, you know, he might. I have a problem with innocent people dying. I was just listening to a buddy who's a, who rescued prisoners of war. We have we having a conversation things. in the cage uh, the chosen. other day. And he was telling me about these two gentlemen that were crawling up on him. And he had infrared goggles on and he didn't be, he wasn't able to see it until a guy had his hand come out because they were underneath wet blankets. So here's two gentlemen that are seemingly feeling like they're unsuspecting. They probably have families. They probably have children, <laughs> children yeah. and they, and their life ended because he recognized that they were under a wet blanket and how he told the story. I was so amazed that he could just talk about it so candidly. Uh, in, in a respectful way, he, he that was their life. <laughs> that might have been 46 years. That might have been whatever. And it made me feel something. I think that you feel and want the best for everyone. And I believe that Christ is a consciousness. I believe that it's unconditional love. When you have unconditional love in your heart for people and you Amen. hold in space. We got to do it, man. Space, We're for others, you then want to give the most for them. What did Jesus or all of the examples of a Messiah do? Gave value to fucking people. That is the entire point. So I think we are all to become our best. Long story short, I think we're all just to become our best and strive to make our ancestors proud. That's being Amen. grateful. That's what's being grateful. Amen. And ancestors had to fight fucking oh, yeah. tigers. What the fuck? <laughs> How long? Fucking great! So I get to be here to warm. A f I got a camera in front of my face. I'm I'm talking to you guys, and we're impacting yeah. lives. Like what the fuck?
this is so cool. Like, yeah, it, it it is. It's, it's kind of interdimensional. It's almost like we've moved into a spirit yes. world where we literally are just battling, battling over thoughts. Which is the oh. awakening. And I, that's why the fucking Matrix to me is a fucking documentary. Because 100%. the way that you can yep. finally become, when you become conscious that you're in the Matrix and that you can actually impact it with your thoughts and your choices, guess what the fuck happens? You can and you make your life better. And you and have hallelujah. And you pull people out of the bitch. And I believe hell is here right now. They're doing terrible wow. shit to children. What they the are. fuck? They're doing terrible shit to children. Unite. Unite humanity now. The righteous are supposed to come together. That's the fucking chosen people to me. The ones that are consciously creating their reality and deciding they're going to make a difference and give back to people. That's what the fuck this is all about. That's why we're on this call. That's why we're trying to get down to the bottom. And you guys asking him all these questions. But at the end of the day, I think that everybody has to take responsibility for their lives. And that's the only way that you get better. And we've allowed our fucking government to dog walk us in a position where now our rights might be taken away. They're talking about taking away fucking guns. That's what this country was built on. Are you fucking stupid? You can't even, you don't even have free speech. We can't even say anything anymore. They're slowly, what does Satan do? He literally takes away. He suppresses information. If there was a Satan, it, it suppresses information. That's the most powerful fucking thing. That is the most powerful thing. Is it? And they want to take it away. Why? So you don't know these things and they don't want us to have these conversations. There's a lot of, even what the, what, what, um, uh, what, what homeboy just said earlier. He's just like, I did actually learn something about Judaism. We might just have to learn about everything and maybe okay. an idea to get perspective. Wisdom. Honestly, this whole Jew thing is like, got me into like looking up scripture. Cause if I've been going to argue with people, I have to look at it. Yeah, now, baby. I love it. Perspire from the Lord. We have to have enough perspective to be able to under. That's why we want to know what's going on all the time. Ready to wake you get so hard on us? Oh, like we talking about what's going on the world right now. We need to why are we up. talking about what's going on in the world? Because we want to fucking know. It's yeah, we want to stop it too. We want to end the oh. evil, man. And we got to be able to talk shit and make fun of each other because that whole thing, that's what they want us to do. They want us to, once yeah. they stop and you, and you shut down freedom of speech, like they've done in Israel, your buddy Bibi Netanyahu has done, which yeah, you there admitted, is no free speech there, man. You, you guys should be in the streets demanding it as we I should know. be here. There should be global. People ask me, they're like, is he Israel first or America first? I always say this. They don't even give a constitution in Israel. America first, baby. This is the only place where you could truly you, be a free man, man in the world. Hey, in the I, whole world. Adam, hey, I do agree. I do agree with the heaven and the hell thing. I do agree that at one point in time that we, we were perfect beings. And the fall essentially was that we started to become consciously aware of our insecurities or our fallacies because we fell from what Zionist was perfection, if anything. Wrong. And that yeah, is when don't blame the Jew. heaven blame and hell the essentially separated. Okay? So... If you can be, if you have the free will to be a terrible person and you make those decisions, Satanists don't feel guilty for their decisions. That's why they do them. Because they, in fact, they feel like they're getting rewarded if they do them. Bingo. So, why is it innately in me to be against hurting children? I will tear up if I see that. It would make me feel something. It, I believe God is activating in those that are righteous that want to make fucking change. Mm -hmm. And you're right. This is a great awakening. When Cat Williams says he's the Illuminati, I agree. I believe that we are the real Illuminati, the ones who are enlightened, that are living in unconditional love. And free. I believe state creates and I believe beliefs solidify. I believe state creates and beliefs solidify. So as you believe, so shall you receive. That's in the Bible. Do you believe before every miracle? This is what Jesus asked. Emil Kue, self-mastery through conscious auto-suggestion. Think and grow. The entire fucking personal development is all built off of biblical principles or principles of the esoteric and the Egyptian, whatever the fuck you want to call them, ancients or whoever. And a lot of what he's saying about his religion believes and what is not Aren't you supposed to want to be superior? Aren't you supposed to want to grow? Not mean rule over people, mean yeah. rule over yourself. I mean, yeah. when the whole white supremacy thing came out, it was kind of nice being blonde hair and blue eyed. I'm like, I'm it's saying, pretty awesome being blonde hair and blue eyed. <laughs> mastering yourself on a day to day. When you master yourself on a day to day, you, you become better. The samurai believed in dying every day because when you meditate on death daily, you become grateful. That's the point. 
I'm and that's why Muslim Muslims, when they when they were in Russia, they said, "Oh, I don't think these were real proper Muslims because the Muslims would have would have fought to the death. They would have died because yeah. they believe so strongly. They're like, oh yes, I'm going to get to die in a jihad. Fuck yeah, which is a very powerful thing to have within your heart. Which Christianity, which is like you know, uh, Lucas Gage was bringing up the other day, talking about like that's what they don't have. They don't they're not willing to die for their beliefs. They're not willing to die for even righteousness or their family or their life or their country. They're just like they're kind of and that's one problem with christianity that i feel no offense to jesus because he seems like a cool guy and i i pray to jesus even though i don't know if he's there sometimes yeah. if i'm in a bad spot i'm like jesus <laughs> adam green do you ever pray to jesus even if shit really goes bad like if your mom died <laughs> no, but when like, adam yeah. green says the name jesus he says it like a southern baptist preacher he even, says, when, even when you're in a foxhole he always does he, there's yeah. no atheists in he says jesus so, i do like wish things i, yeah, I like yeah, yeah. have intentions of like no, wanting to back but you know yeah. Hey, hey, Adam, have you ever got something that you intended to get? I have. No. You're talking to me? Yeah. It, Adam Green. Yeah. A lot of what you're talking about reminds me of the secret. It reminds me of uh, Trump's yeah. pastor who wrote The Power of Positivity. He was a Freemason. And, and, uh, but, but of course, yeah, I would say that Baker, like anybody that like sets Adam. intentions or wants things and works towards them, they what? sometimes they get them. And I have, and I have done that in my life. Yeah. You fully done it. Look I've at where I'm at. Of course, I have. I wanted all of this. So I'm going to expose the years, He's the voice. So yeah, the voice. Yeah. Yeah. The reason I hate it. The reason I say that is because you have one of my favorite mics. That's an Electro Voice RE what twenty or thirty three twenty. Can't oh. remember. R twenty probably. Yeah. The RE twenty. Yeah, that's like one of my favorite. So again, yeah. like, I got it from uh, Dildo Baggins, uh, Rabbi Shmuley's shop. <laughs> so funny. Dildo ball bag. Do the ball back. Do take me for a Carmen Contra. So hey, can I can I bring up another aspect of reality? Like hold on, King Bao was complimenting me. Oh, Are you done, King Bao? <laughs> Anything else besides my mic? You have a very large American penis. You have me on Stu Peters to expose the Jesus deception. I would because... love to see Adam Green and Stu Peters. Okay. Yeah, he called me a Jew on Twitter a couple weeks ago, and I'm not <laughs> Jewish, Jew? so he's a liar. <laughs> bro, bro, did you see me Adam call him Jew Peters when I was Troyer? Go ahead, Did he bro. say anything about that when I called him Jew Peters? Because all he talks about is Jews, man. Hey, again, we're all here, in my opinion, because we need to be here, co-creating this reality together. We have multiple personalities on this fucking podcast and thousands of people tuning in right now. And all they're doing is... I think, in my opinion, I think we've had a great discussion today. We've nice. you've been able, everybody's been able to fucking voice their opinions, disagree and agree. And I think that this is again how we give back to humanity and consciousness. This is how we do it. Oh my god! Yes. This is Thank how you. we do it. Semester thirty-three cent one dollars on Rumble. Hey, 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 so I want to know. Been out dancing when that song comes on. Oh yeah, I can dance. Single person. But, uh, hold on, hold on yeah, before you go, dude, Ethan. Is, I want to hear Ethan, uh, Ethan's take on all this so far. Or what you want to hear us talk about too like the smoothly thing smoothly now we gotta get well, into ai bro AI, you know, I, AI. when i moderate these things i, I i'm kind of just the referee i saw somebody on twitter said this is complete chaos what is this and yeah said, moderate well, this, the kill this isn't a debate yeah i know well right exactly you know i'm kind of just here you know trying to get people involved right if somebody hasn't talked in a while you know hey king bell wanted to ask a question wanted to do this wanted to do yeah. that um i guess just the uh, if you want to know what I wanted to talk about, mostly it was about religion, right? Um, but most of the people here... Uh, you couldn't been, get a Christian to come, though. Well, I know. We tried. We got one yeah. for a minute. We got but, one, but um, he didn't minute. believe but that the Messiah is coming right nobody now. Nobody else wanted to step up. I, I think one of the things we all have in common is kind of being outside... Uh, the mainstream of right wing thought, right? Like, like almost blackballed uh, in a certain way uh, from some of these areas. Uh, and that's come up recently with Candace Owens being dismissed from the Daily Wire. There's certain things, certain places you go uh, and you get put on a blacklist. And I know for a fact that there's just some places that won't have me uh, on the air. And I feel like uh, a lot of people here, probably everybody else. A smashed here, 33 right? cent uh, $1 has places on that Rumble. you just can't get to. That glass you, ceiling Alex. that Hil Hillary, Hillary talks about, right? Um, and so. So I guess just the panel's thoughts on that. Do you see um, that starting to change a little bit, I guess, with X being opened up uh, and more ideas, like getting a, free, a freer um, broadcast, right, uh, that, that wasn't even the case a, a couple of years ago? Uh, and so do you see that paradigm changing, or are they still going to keep uh, the stranglehold mm -hmm. over the conversation? 
You want me to go first? Yeah, whoever wants to take it first, but that, that was what I was so, going to throw as a topic. Um, I'll just say this first and foremost. I, I just have faith that Candace is going to land on her feet. Yeah, well, and, yeah, me too. And I would think that Candace should maybe start like the Candace Owens network or something. She could, these she dudes will. are milking it. They're made with the ones who charge memberships for their videos and stuff. And she could be making a lot of money and being sovereign about it and sure. promoting oh, Ralph. things. R Ralph I think was, she's Ralph a, discovered her by the way. Well, besides, yeah, I heard Rayleigh, about that. Uh, Ralph, 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 I heard Ralph, that she Ralph found here on the kill stream. That's actually true. True. Yeah. She first interviewed wow. with me. Now that was many moons ago. Uh, and she did all the hard work herself, right? I'm not taking any credit there, right. but yeah, it actually was not Infowars. It was the Ralph retort. It's uh, kind of like finding like a super hot chick. Like, yeah, 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 exactly. Like, yeah, well, yeah, she, she did anyway. it on her own. I don't want to take any credit there, but yeah, technically it was. And they were trying to make her hot. No, no, no. I didn't make she owes anything, you, Ralph. She owes but, you everything. No, she did a lot of work. She's been well, working she, for years and years yes, and years. That's true. Candace when Candace when she came on, on with head. me, they were trying yeah, to snuff her out before Canada. she even got started uh, over the social autopsy thing. And so this was many moons ago, and we did our interviews. Uh, and then she kind of took a little time off and came back as a red pill black, uh, but uh, and did all did the hard work on her own. But yeah, they tried to snuff her out, and I kind of helped change that story. Me and her uh, kind of helped change that story into um, you know they were trying to say she was doxing everybody and setting up this doxing site. Uh, and I was a part of a thing called Gamergate, and some of the top enemies of Gamergate were attacking her, and we kind of changed it into. Um, you know, they're attacking this young, uh, black, black pretty, lady. uh, entrepreneur. Right. Uh, and she's a firebrand. Now she was a firebrand then. And she started saying this fat bitch, Randy Harper and this whore, Zoe Quinn. <laughs> and she just went off. Right. Uh, and it was immediate dynamite. Like you could just see the talent. You, you could hear the, uh, yeah. the passion. She, that she, had, right? like, she always she had that. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah, she always had that. So, uh, but yeah, I had a little bit of a hand uh, history. Could they were lost. Different. They're just going to lose money because of it. You know, that boring dude was an apt name because he was the most boring person to listen to on that panel. Adam said he was great. I, I thought he was fantastic. Man. I thought he was Honestly, so I don't even pay attention to the daily wire and I like totally ignore Ben Shapiro. Like yeah. I, I bear, like if he comes up on my Instagram reel or Dude, something, like maybe so I'll see something shit. from him. But other than that, I really am not a, a affiliated with the daily wire whatsoever. But when I heard Jeremy boring speak, especially his 20 minute debate with Fuentes, I was so impressed by him. I mean, he everything that he did answering questions about Candace, everything like that. He I mean, he really handled himself question. with dignity. He was stoic. An he said his beliefs. Yeah, it's, it's obvious. I respect though, the man who can answer questions. Why is Ben Shapiro such a pussy? Though? Why is Ben Shapiro such a pussy though? You can defend boring. I didn't think he really answered the questions either. If you want to know the truth, he but, totally did. But, He's like, well, we can't get into that. And yeah, then he but, said it was a conspiracy theory that she just so happened to be on her way yeah. out. We can't say what she got. It was oh, some conspiracy theorist. Now, now he's calling us conspiracy theorists because all of a sudden Candace is out all of a sudden two days after a certain thing happens because he's going to dress it he's like I'm ready to get into it Matt, Adam Matt, I saw US somebody post that her one. first day there her first video was like exactly a year before the other day when she just ended it could have been her contract was coming to an end and she was like speaking out more and more and almost wanted to leave and make a big scene so she could be more famous than she's ever been which is what's happened a shmooly and I and I agree actually I think and they did it together too that's so funny yeah. but boring yeah, showing up at that space i thought he actually handled it pretty well and just the fact that he even showed up that's well, big and, and yeah he but he kind and of dodged, he, right? one on one where he showing that up question, and but, talking to Fuentes yeah. and talking to all these people was actually a big deal. Yeah. But he didn't really I thought say it was much. A loss. Everyone uh, that, that said it was a loss. I, yeah, I didn't. I, think I, didn't he lost I mean, I've never liked the guy. But but everybody him knows his almost is a win, right? Like you know what I mean? Like just being in that space. I think who really looks the worst is slimy Ben Shapiro uh, when he was cornered by Piers Morgan yesterday in, in his little you know nasally little weasel voice. <laughs> saying, oh, can, I, you can ask me, but I won't talk about it. He really thinks he's king shit. At King shit mountain, uh, and I just We're really of his shit. Yeah, I can't. I've never him liked him, even when yeah. he was the he, darling he of the right wing. I'm like, mountain. I don't like this guy. No, no. Shapiro, never liked him. Never. And Before I, I think he talks King too fast, fast and his voice is him. too loud. Yeah, he's just an annoying cunt. And he has all this yeah. shit to say about Crowder when they had their dispute, and all this shit to say about everybody else. I don't really know about that because I never really paid attention to so much about Shapiro. You know, like. I knew he was always a big name. I knew he was like with Dennis Prager on AM 70 back here in L.A. When I ran for Congress in 2014, he had me on his show like three times. And that was in 2014. Yeah. yeah. And then I didn't really like I respected him for letting me come on and talk about my campaign. I ran against Karen Bass, who's now the mayor of L.A. Oh. 
and uh, I really, I re I really did her some damage. And unfortunately, it's like a really not a right wing district. It's like <laughs> no, it's <laughs> super liberal district. But I, I so far have the title of the of the best of the best the most amount of votes any Republican has ever gotten, and it involves like Compton and Linwood and like Crenshaw and like all these like districts. Jakers. All these stuff. Represent, Adam, represent. Adam, Andrew's ready to come in just to give you a heads up. Ralph is all that right. right? So he'll come in in a second. Hey, can I, can we get into AI and it as a spiritual sure. thing? And a yeah, but they want like a, in, in the future. He wants to like debate me and like he. All right, yeah, he do, it, do it. This do thing it. and then we yeah. wrap up with AI. You guys can't hijack the whole thing though with the Jew. I don't want to do it, dude. Honestly, at least that's what Ethan wants. It sucks because this panel is important to me. And I always wanted to debate Andrew Mayer. Yeah, I and love he's that. Like trolling me all over the place, and he never accepted a debate invite. Well, and now he wants to crash this. So, in honor of E. Michael Jones, who like didn't want to like show up, and Kapner, who squared us into this deal to get two terms, you know, two debates <laughs> out of it, and then didn't show up, and like all these other, it's like, do we want a bloodbath? And it should it be Andrew Mayer? And it's like that wasn't the intention of the panel. And Andrew Mayer is always kind of like the psyop that creeps in there whenever I start doing good. And he wants to like get me into some well, sort of trouble or something. How about this? And like, if you guys want to see Andrew versus me, I've been challenging him for a debate. It's ironic he would choose this thing that I've worked so hard at to show hard. up anonymously for the debate. But if you guys want it, I'm ready to go. So we can do it. This isn't what I wanted for this let, event. Let Ethan go. Let, let Ethan go. Let me say this. got the answer. We can do it. We can do it right now. We can do it live, we or we can set it up as a special event. Hey, Adam um, Sandler. You and Zappa then called. He wants to go to that. On the kill stream because I host well, those types of things. Well, I think we should get it out of the way because I'm looking for this guy. All right, fine. Let's do it now. That's I don't want to. And let's finish answering Joel Bauman's thing, and let's not like stop what we were doing immediately and go jump into that thing. Let's finish our discussion because it's so relevant, and so many people are really enjoying it. I think there's a lot of people that want to see conclusion to some of the stuff we're talking about before we pivot into a Jew fight. Okay. You don't want the Jews to dominate the whole podcast. Trust me. <laughs> I know. Thank you guys. We already got Adams enough. What, what, what Jews enough? Sorry. Now. Okay. I will bring him in here in a, in a second. Then okay. let's finish our thoughts on, on the previous uh, conversation, uh, either the Candace Owens thing or, or what Joel was talking about. Well, I wanted uh, to say something about the Candace Owens yeah. thing, if you don't mind. Sure. Go. No, so, no, no. North 34, 34. So, like, I really think that home. like her time has we come and Jew. I hope she embraces this moment and does something like a Candace Owens network. Cause she'll really make a ton of money and, uh, and she deserves it. She's been fighting for the cause for so many years when it was so uh une you know now it's easy to have a podcast she's been she started a long time ago she put in so much effort and uh she's put herself out on the line so many times and um and it's really unfair that this whole thing she gets pitted against jews and it's like and i just want to say i'm proud of candace owens and who she's become and uh i'm looking forward to who she becomes next and uh it's better that she doesn't have anybody controlling her or and just let her be and and she's a bright woman and she'll come to uh decisions on her own and anybody who has a problem with that like was portrayed in the press uh it, it's it's just so stupid it's like we're, we're all allowed to think what we want to think and 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 I, I don't like how she was dragged through the mud i, I don't think that was right and uh it's and only I by Shmuley, say though that. i mean it's not like all the jews hate her now it's a just Shmuley's three, little three, campaign i know they're like I agree with Matt, this campaign. Campaign. i don't it's know why campaign. they do this campaign to her like it's not a campaign. I mean, some of the media is doing it too, and it's because they're it's easy to discredit her because she's North doing the crisis king, and now the Christians are all on the defense. But I agree with Matt. Smoothie's well. doing this whole thing just to get attention. And if we re really Necro wanted to give him an L, it would be everybody Zeus ignoring Zeus. him so and having bad. zero engagement on all of his oh, neurotic. He's too entertaining to ignore, though. I'm not gonna lie, man. Like I can't. I can't. He's, he's so self so current. He should look so bad. He shouldn't turn into Jew debate entertainment on Infowars. I'm glad. Glad he got to speak with Alex Jones today. I thought he performed so poorly. He had so many parts where he could have led to a win, but then he resulted to ad hominem and like debased things like sexual everything, which was so weird, but he's a dildo selling rabbi. So what else do you expect? <laughs> and Alex held himself with esteem and integrity. He wasn't allowed to speak. Shmuley said, oh, say one good thing about the Jews. And Alex starts and Shmuley interrupts him. And it's like, I'm so sick of this shit. And like, honest to God, I'm just that using Adam Green is correct. The correct way to like, do deal plug with Shmuley is more Shmuley. 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 I'm here to say all of these arguments, call him everything Shumley, that we're doing, all of these conversations Shumley. that we're having, like King Bao was saying, the overall goal here is that we can hash this stuff out in the in the mind 
in virtual reality here so that we can finally come to some kind of understanding. And the understanding that we're going to have to come to pretty soon is that all human beings are going to be pitted against virtual reality and AI. AI is going to get so strong soon. EP and if it's not already doing it, Check hitting it. us against each other by algorithms and showing oh. black people stomping white people's heads and showing Jews and showing white people Nazis totally. and showing making everyone in the world hate mm -hmm. each other and just totally arguing like when right now we should be one. looking at something that is coming for us a Goliath a mm -hmm. megalith of something so like more dangerous than even aliens amen this thing is going to be so dangerous for us and if we can't unite as human beings if we can't put aside our differences which might mean getting into Liam some heated Jarrett debates about what our differences AI are so we can at least understand where one another are coming from then we are fucked a smash 33 cent one dollars on rumble so Hash unite Marijuana yeah. and addict fucking can't wake up to what's about to hit us right across the fucking nose. Mm -hmm. All of humanity, every one of us, we're all under attack. And this thing is pitting us and using algorithms to feed us negative, negative, negative. and shows mm -hmm. the worst in humanity, the worst in Jews, the worst in oh. white people, the worst in black, the worst in everything. Oh. It's destroying our mental capacity to project a beautiful future Zionist because it's showing us a dark normal. future. And when who do you humans, think will be if we were to AIs, gather together I and wonder. say, you know what? D. We've done our fights. We've made each other strong. Iron sharpens iron. We're going to take the best from the Jews and the best from the Christians and the best from the things and in the end we are all human beings and we must stand Not together to shoulder to shoulder men and women white and black and we will defeat and crush this ai and put it back in this Amen. little fucking box if we don't mm -hmm. that's the end of all of us and the every problem. single argument we are having is a complete and utter fucking waste of time yes the problem Can i give you a secret map the ai North 34, who's controlling 34, the ai three dollars the jews <laughs> I'm just wishing at this point that <laughs> Somebody said, you know, I'll tell you, I'll tell that's you in, the this end, AI. Yeah, yeah. in the end of the day, in the, uh, honest to God, in the end of the day, that if you believe, if you believe that, that that there is a creator to this Rumble. thing, Trashing despite sound whatever way. AI is capable of, God, that creating force is capable of overriding that force. And it's a relationship with all of us that that creator seeks. And so the more we embrace our creator and a relationship with our creator, we wake up and can identify these things that could be potentially very dangerous. All I know is, all I know is so if, many if things. there is to be a Skynet situation, if there is, how convenient for a omnipotent AI, maybe not omnipotent, but hella omnipotent, way more omnipotent than we are, how convenient would it be for it to have attack drones everywhere? Every country with attack drones, every country with autonomous vehicles, every country with all the of these robot missiles and robot things and all these hey, tanks. Man. If Some we were to stuff. realize the, how big of an issue we're actually in and say, hey, guys, maybe we need to dismantle all of this weaponry. Maybe we need to solve our problems with one another, because if we have autonomous drones flying around and lasers in the sky, it's only a matter of time before this thing goes, checkmate, you're done. Either be my bitch or die. Matt, how did we get here? Did you? Uh, I think did you guys see the animatrix. Christianity, uh -huh. Christianity led us here. Did oh, you guys I, I just have to get into AI. I think it's the biggest threat facing humanity, and, oh, and I think everybody's really, really getting blindsided by it. And Matt, have, all Matt, have, shit that's have you going to be worthless? Matt, You're right, Matt. Have you seen the animatrix? I, I'm, the, the I've seen the main happening? matrix. What? I there's saw this, that. Where the there's Jews an episode. The chosen you saw it. I saw that. Yeah, Zion and the Jews. Yeah, it's totally it was all metaphor for Jews. In the second Renaissance, they say that there's like this before everybody's plugged Zionist into the matrix and stuff, and we're all like injected into reality in their theory of it all. That there's Apparently like Dune this, goes the AI, AI too. Like Dune the AI, goes it happens AI. in Saudi Arabia. The AI builds itself in Saudi Arabia. Interestingly, the first AI citizen to ever get citizenship was in Saudi Arabia. It was Sophia. The, the AI robot. And, how do, and everyone says, how did we, that, that, that boat got hijacked? They said, oh, maybe it was cyber attack. But then people are like, that would be very high to figure out when to do it and how to do it. And what. But I mean, I'm pretty sure a super intelligent, thousand times smarter than human being plugged into everything in the world AI mm -hmm. could. I'm not saying it did it. I'm just saying these are the types of things that you wouldn't even know you were under attack. It would just be like, ping, okay. Um, ping, ahead, punk, and yeah, then you would be in checkmate. Master thirty-three one time. <laughs> More like AI. How did we get here? How did we get where? How do we get to where now? AI is even a fucking th like. How did we do get dog walk into communist AI dick? How did we get there? <laughs> hmm.
uniqueness and, and science and fiction, convenience. predictive programming. We're that's conditioned to it. Right there, man. Oh, Adam oh, Green's oh, got it. it dude. That's how yes. programming. Matt, you said it multiple times. And basically what you said is unaware. I believe that those that are unaware are the fucking threat to humanity. I feel that those that are unaware that don't have information, again, going back to wisdom is perspective, Candace Owens talked about it when she was on The Breakfast Club, that now in the the black community, just like you said, they were feeding our attention, feeding attention. Being yeah. and they're weakening you just like they did when they when they brought in welfare like hey right. we're be nice to you knowing yeah. that when you give someone something for free it makes you weaker you don't work as much you, your skills diminish then you start like looking for where you're going to get your next thing which is akin to drug dealing you don't want to work for it how much money can All you right. get how can you get under the grift All right right how did they even know right. 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 hey man that it's kind of like palestinian they even know that race would be something that you could put people against each other in fucking 2024. How did they even? That's the way it always was. Maybe and, and that's easy. That's easy. I mean, that's always tribalisms. Yeah, reality. tribalisms always. And all you on. have to do is hurt a black person in front of another black person and have a white person do it and put it on TV. Like, like, what's his name? Friggin', uh so I want to say Rodney King because it's the same wait, thing. Wait, I'm getting there. I swear to God, just let me fucking go. I swear. So unawareness, unawareness. These people aren't even a fucking aware that they create their reality because they're being programmed. Right. On fucking podcasts, having these conversations. Right. So, how do, so what was the issue? The issue was that we weren't having conversations like this out in the open. We oh. weren't the motherfuckers accountable and being like, "Hey, wait a minute." Which is we being, were separated from one another. We were fucking. Right. Be, we weren't being consciously aware of our reality. You know what's so interesting? Probably none of us have ever met each other in real life. Like we've never been in the same physical space, but we're here in the uh, digital space having this. Mean, you, mean, you, were you at the American Liberty Awards or no? Oh you yeah, yeah. Matt that. and I met before for yeah. sure. Yeah, I met, yeah. uh, He's real. Adam met. We met in at, at uh, Dick Masterson's That's house. That's right. Actually. Yep. So, but other than that, we no. take dinner. Yes, we did. Yeah. We did. Well, still, I feel like I know. I like yes. those things. Worlds collide. You know what I'm saying? Humanity. Yeah. Is on conversation expands because these conversations never took place. People didn't know what the fuck a Jeffrey Epstein was or a Mossad was, or that now we're all having a conversation about a particular group of people that we think might be doing some horrendous shit to the world. That is now a conversation that is out in the open that you couldn't have. Why? Because maybe it was designed Zionist to be that way. One dollars on and maybe you think if now you Adam King the girl, only he'd start way suckling on your baby's dick. Who, now we've identified the threat as being an awareness, and now we have to become aware of everything. Mm. That's the point. We have to, I'm so grateful that like we're, we're doing this. Like, That's I'm elevation, cool. becoming more aware. We have to elevate ourselves constantly. And this is how, in my opinion, we change everything. And I believe we're changing it right now. If there was a way to fucking take back control, wouldn't it be this? No. Are we not trying to find ways to survive in this shit? Is this not still survival of the fittest in some way, shape, or form? Hey, Matt, did you get the safe and effective? Nope. Hey, Adam, did you get the safe and effective? Nope. Oh, okay. Um, uh, other Adam didn't either? Oh, okay. So nobody Worski here. did. Yeah, Worski did, but I, I don't think anybody on this panel did. No, I'm had sorry. I had to do it. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Worski, I had to do it. Was that not How many did you get? How many boosters did you get? So, did you wear your mask? Worski got the whole DLC <laughs> pack. Yeah, booster. he got the season sub, uh, subscription there, but no, I didn't take it. So again, why? Because you were consciously aware maybe enough to go, right. I don't know if I want that in my body. Awake you know why I didn't was. take it? Actually, it was spite because I didn't get to see my mother pass away uh, because the U.S. government and they had a 10-day waiting period uh, so to get into up. hospice care. So she died uh, alone, basically, or without her loved ones. Uh, and so I didn't take the shot just out of pure spite at first. Uh, wow. And then more came out later, and I was like, wow, that spite actually maybe saved yeah. my life, right? You uh, got but, saved, dude. But it was just out yeah. of sure, sheer spite, if I'm telling you. Because look, it's like because I was like, fuck the government after that happened to me. Like, I, yeah. that's you know what I mean? Thank like, God. It's, it's just an inner hatred that I have. Wow. You hear the horror yeah. stories. That that's like yeah. what you hear. Like one of the worst things of COVID is people didn't get to be with their loved ones when they died. And yeah, you through that, and I've always had so much sympathy for that. It's fucking awful what the government yeah. did. They should We're all awful. be on that's trial and in prison forever. They had Zoom on. funerals. Listen it was to this disgusting. City, what's he, an Adam just said it. Wait a minute. How do we hey, get there though? The you just said Rock it. Is dead. Why the fuck are we taught? Why have we been tolerating this? They have stole billions of taxpayer dollars. Yeah. 
Do you realize that it's in our authority right now as the people, because the government is supposed to be the people to immediately hold them accountable and be like, hey, you're, this isn't, they, you can't do this. <laughs> We're supposed to be yeah. forcibly removed. The problem removed. is they've got so many people brainwashed that they'll be like, oh my God, that guy tried to do, he's trying to step outside the box. Because they're unaware. Mm -hmm. But that's why you're right. Because, and, and I, honestly, I've, I've done a rant about this before at a, at a, at a, at a big talk I did. I freestyled it, but basically came down to like wanting to have the fight, wanting to go we the sequel, wanting to do 1776 part two. But at the same time, realizing that when you are in a battle, if you kill someone on the other side, they lose one person. But if you're in a battle and you beat that person in an information war, now you have two people on your side mm -hmm. and we are gaining. We're yes. still gaining. So yes. why would we if we're picking teams and we're like you, 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 if we can keep adding people to our team before the before the right. break then why would we why would we pull why would we you know this is the event the wall before, before while we're still gathering at some point maybe there might become a time when we say you know what we've reached peak awakeness we're never getting past this snap the ball peak right awakeness now, is the resurrection of the dead the Mes yeah. messianic the revival of the dead where <laughs> death doesn't exist death doesn't so exist the meantime, anymore for all creation that's peak awareness yeah that's the ultimate free will to choose not to die I, the highest level. I'm almost tend to agree that if you, as you believe, show you so you shall mean you, like Jesus did, as you believe. So <laughs> you, bro, hey, bro, have you ever read the Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murray? <clears throat> I have not. Um, have you ever read Self Mastery Through Conscious Out of Suggestion by Emil Kuei? I'm sorry. I'm just. I just don't read that much. I hate oh. to tell you. I do all this in uh, thought experiments. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Though. Though. What was that first one? Well, say the first one again, King Bow. Power of suggestion by Joe Murphy. Power of suggestion. Or, no, the power of the subconscious mind. Excuse me. The power of the subconscious mind by Joe Murphy. Yes. And then self mastery through conscious auto suggestion. I think that uh, I think that it's a lot of what you believe, and I believe that we are now coming into a time of awakening where maybe um, we're realizing the things that Christ a maybe knew or our ideas of what Christ knew, we don't which is that now. unconditional love is the way forward. And we all have to start fucking loving each other and forgiving and realizing that there's good people everywhere, and that is how we actually change shit. I now, Adam Green, have a friend who is an atheist or whatever i now have you know uh, you know more understanding of matt baker you know and what his beliefs are and i respect him more for him i respect adam you know for for his belief even though even you know the, um you know mr stream sorry my friend I got you. <laughs> ethan ralph yeah, this. ethan ralph like we all are now in my opinion respecting each other more and this is how change the fucking game. We have conversations out in the this open. This is how we do it. This <laughs> is how we do it. I know Adam wants to get it. Attention <laughs> <laughs> where it needs to go, which is the fucking governments who are supposed to be representing the fucking people. How did it even get to a point where we were worshiping celebrities who were fucking kids? How did we even get there? Because of unawareness. Now that we know, we do something about it. They still haven't given us the fucking Epstein client list. What the fuck are we talking about? We should be holding ourselves accountable and going down each and everything. Oh, all this money to Ukraine. Can't be fucking oh, you see billions of dollars. Okay, we got we gotta talk about that. Hey, you haven't given us the Epstein list, and these are all the fucking names and all the clients. We gotta go get all those people. Dude, we've so, been uh, bitch slapped. What we've been the, the, the government has literally bitch slapped us. It's like what bitch? It's I like, know. I just fucked you up, bitch. Now shut your mouth. And it's like, yes. yeah, I just fucking injected you. Yeah, we just fucked your kids. And yeah, we're lying to you. And yeah, we stole your election. And what are you going to do about it, bitch? I know. They, now your religions are fake. These motherfuckers did control. that to us, dude. They did that to us. They smacked us like we were their bitch to smack. And everyone, unfortunately, and not us and the, most of the people in this room stood up. And it would have been a whole lot nicer had if COVID went down. Like when I realized how many people were actually going along with this shit, it fucking blew my mind. Right. It was it was like it was like being in a fucking roach infested apartment and be like, hey, I like your place here. And you just flip on the lights. You go, really? Click. And it's just like covered with roaches. It's like the whole world was covered in sheep, retard, fool, zombies who walking around with tattoos acting like, oh, I'm an American. Yeah. 
they don't mess right. with America. Freedom of speech. Yeah, I've got my guns. I'm going to do this. Flip Israel's our greatest oh, ally. Oh, 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 hey, a bunch of pussies. A bunch of fags. Like, you pussies. You How did you not stand up? If you all had to stood up like I did, like everyone, a few of us did, with this the fucking thing would have been over. We would have had We the Sequel yep. then. We would have had perfect right to do it. That's They're taking true. all of our rights away. They're pushing us in fucking Zionist things. Taking away our first amendment. Telling us we can't work. Shutting down churches. We should have fucked them up right there. Yes. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. Let's watch Fuck them! Watch, watch. You don't believe what you can't die for. And you don't believe what you can't live for. You don't believe what you can't die for, but you don't believe what you also can't live for. Meaning, if you're not doing shit and you're not speaking up or you're not actively trying to make the world better around you or give back, especially right now when shit is hitting the fan, if that's not in you, to me, you're already dead. You're already a casualty of war. I think that the only way to survive is to become the strongest that you can in every timeline. Your ancestors had to become the best to fucking make your bloodline grow. That's the fucking point. There used to be power in a name. The Vikings. King, King Bao, King, I love it. Vikings. Let me interrupt on Vikings. Yes. Yeah. For people that don't know, you. I first learned about you. You're a UFC fighter and you won and you like had a big necklace on and called out uh, Epstein and, and some stuff. Yeah. Can you tell people about that? Are you still fighting too? Still yeah, in the UFC? Yeah. yeah. So no, I was never in the UFC. I'm the most okay. viral. Watch. I'm the most viral fighter on the planet who's not in the UFC. That's true. Yeah. The most viral. What is Dana White? Not, do you not want to be part of it, or what's the deal? I'm the most. Uh, so I, I had, was going to say he was the Mashiach there for a minute. No. I'm the, oh, so yeah. I had uh, I had a gentleman on my King Bar Radio a couple of days ago. His name's Red Pill MMA. Necco he was the first gentleman to cover low, when the UFC Fight Pass it. Twitter it. took down my post fight viral speech. So it's very interesting since the beginning. And I know the the I know someone in the UFC that works there, um, who's high up. And he he messaged me afterwards and he said, "Bow, we got a text to." Uh, that we had to take down your post-fight viral speech. What? Yeah, after UFC Twitter. Fight. Gamma one? Yes. Super and, gay. I thought. I thought. I thought White was was cool. Well, Red got eighty million empty. views. That Hold video got 80 everyone views saw it. It was day. a waste of time taking it, it down. Dana oh, White took it down. You were, that was a UFC fight, and he took it down. You guys are giving up my next timeline. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> I thought you just said that. No, 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 no. no. So I can't either. Boo, Dana. So Red Pill MMA, if you go on his YouTube channel, he started to grow. He's becoming one of the number one journalists in MMA. He's actually like talking about shit that matters and trying to blend culture and sports, um, but actually have messages, right? He was the first one to cover like, wait a minute, this guy was going everywhere. Like he said, 80 million views. If they would have kept that up on their, on, on their Twitter, it would have been their most viewed tweet of Dude, all. it would have broke several so, hundred million no, minimum. I'll 20 million. I'll get 20 million right. views in a week, two years later. Right? Mm, After yeah. the a semester removed. 33 cents, so, one dollars on Monday. Um, why hey, won't Jones. they touch me? Patchouli or smells who, like shit. My question is who made the call? Who made the call? Because somebody called Jimmy me Camel. and said, You need Jimmy to take Camel. But, bro, have I not only said what was true? That just I, shows you how powerful Jimmy Kimmel actually and, is. And you also cabal. said things that right wing people like to talk about. And, and Dana White tries to brand his organization as a right wing organization. And you were basically preaching to the choir and you were edgy and you were a little out of the box. Like, why would he could have been, yeah, we don't necessarily believe, but still put it in there. It's like you, you still want that drama, regardless of, I mean, is it, it just made no sense and makes no sense to me. It's hard for me to understand that. A little too far. This, for this idea I had about it. I know. Can I share with uh, you, King. I, the, now I, I, I have an idea about well, it. Hold on. Let him finish. All, all they, all I know is that someone in the higher up in the UFC. Right. That That's what makes sense. Said that they got had to take it down because right. they got a call. My question is who made the call? Because now if we look at what I said, how many people in CNN have been busted for child, you know what? Right. How many people, I said, you, the mainstream media, and Hollywood, records. you, the mainstream media, and Hollywood are all pedophile. To me, to me, that's how I protect yeah. myself, obviously, right? right? So it was an opinion. It's just an opinion. I didn't claim anything to be fact. So it's very interesting that they also took down what was opinion. It was an opinion that, 
Hollywood, the mainstream media, and Jimmy Kimmel might be, potentially could be, you know. But it was okay for Ricky Gervais to say. Yeah, yeah. so it's very interesting how I couldn't, and that would have been the most the viewed. Master 33 cent $1 Listen, on I think Rumble. also people are Looks terrified like of been UFC because everybody cable. gets up there and likes Available to have a political line. comment, and you're extremely educated. And like some people get up there like Strickland and he's so tough and like he just says what's on his mind. But like really and truly, Joel, you're a scholar and that's dangerous to the institution, especially when you're an up and coming fighter. You're 22 out of 605 in the United man. States. But listen to this. When I was thinking about Jimmy Kimmel, there's a reason why Mark Wahlberg refuses to do anything with Tom Hanks. And think of how many celebrities have sat in this chair and The Tonight Show and all those that roll through there. How many of those sick pedophile fucks that have gone to the islands and have gone to the cult of Zionist law Cuts and have gone to the other Rumble. institutions that he support pedophilia throughout the world because Epstein isn't the only trafficker. And, uh, uh, you know, like how many of these celebrities are in it? We're now realized something happened. Something must have happened to, to P. Diddy that he got caught on something big. And like there's like a lot of connections you know, the dude flew on his plane to get away from the cops. You know, like there was people are suggesting what was he throwing out of the windows? Was there anything he was throwing out of the windows? He was circling over the Bahamas before he landed back down. I got a few things to say about that real quick. So um, I was on. He, well, and, and what does this mean when he said P. Diddy and the fam? Yeah, you know who did it better. That's well, not I, what I, I don't know. <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot of about the Benjamins. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know. So Adam King is street. Um, the, the point. <laughs> oh, he's gonna start freestyling here in a minute. Um, the point I had is someone was like, "Yeah, well, you know, maybe maybe Puffy, he was just being used by the Jews." Basically, they were like, "Well, it was of really course, the Jews were course. doing it," yeah, and yeah. it was Puffy was being. And then they try to make the comparison between Freeway Ricky Ross and the CIA pushing cocaine, which we all know is a reality. In fact, I'm good friends with the pilot that used to fly the cocaine in her dad, like who testified on the floor of the Senate side, side issue. I, I actually yeah. met the Ross. Hey, connect yeah. me with that hookup, <laughs> Matt. But, but, but. <laughs> I'm yeah, in Mexico. Right. Connect me too. <laughs> no, anyway, go ahead. All right, 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 right. Okay. Okay. Um, so the point is that we're like, Oh, well, so maybe Puffy Liam should Jarrett get off because I mean, think about freeway. Ricky Ross was Cohen. basically a nobody. He's pretty broke. And then like, Hey, get in on this hustle. And then once you're uh, kind of in the system, you know, you're not really going to tell the CIA, you know, you're like, well, I'm making bank and I'm in, and it's cool with the government. So it's all good. Now I'm somebody I'm in, I'm in. So that that's one thing he's still guilty of what he did, but it, it's like, he was played, but Puffy. I mean, Puffy was a billionaire. Like, Puffy had so much money. He could have easily said, look, guys, I I'm not really into the sex trafficking thing anymore, you know? So, <laughs> so to try and pawn him off as, like, some little baby that's not into it, that's – if if it all comes out, if it comes true, in my opinion, theoretically, that it comes out that this goes on, then, of course, he should be guilty also. But the thing is, I always find this funny. They always say, like, they're taking videotapes of people – and then they're blackmailing. So they have to tell you you're being blackmailed. So after you go to P. Diddy's house, you're like, oh, I was partying with Puffy, and he brought in these chicks, and these these stripper girls came in, and then I, oh, shit, I got a blowy from a fucking 16-year-old. Holy shit. And Puffy's like, yeah, I got you on video. And then your friends are like, dude, I've got, I'm going to Puffy's party. It's like, you might not want to tell them what you did, but don't you think word would get around like, hey, dude, like, if you go to Puffy's party, bro, like, just, in. I'm just telling you. It did. Don't do anything. I well, yeah, people were talking about it. Man, they I were talking about with Epstein it. Island. Like, yeah. I, like Prince Harry got chumped on it. Like, uh, all everyone's like, "Yeah, come on, bro, it's gonna be a good time. Come on." And like, none of his homies are like, "Oh, no, Harry, <laughs> don't do that." You're Prince going Andrew into is like, the main it's guy. It's weird for me to think that nobody. Right. You might not want to expose whatever it was that you did or got caught with, whether you knew or didn't know. But at that point in time, like the the story just doesn't get out, and everybody just keeps like moths to the flame going to the island. I almost buy into the theory more that they know they're getting. It's like you get to do this debauchery, and then you we get you, and we kind of have you, and as a result, you're going to get everything. It's like selling your soul to the devil, literally. It's like yeah. you you have to perform this thing so that we got your ass. But look. Look, there's Oprah. I was like, they got my ass too. She's like, really, Oprah? He's like, oh yeah, they got me fucking doing this and that, whatever. And you're like, oh really? You're like, and now you're, and yeah, I was nothing. Now I'm Oprah. I'm like, oh, okay, what about you? So basically, it's like it's like an initiation yeah, it's ritual. Like, they, it's they, like, with, yeah. You're not so I don't think they're getting like tricked somehow because it just seems to me that if it was everyone's getting tricked, these big powerful people would 
try to warn their friends like dude i'm going to epstein's island bro like <laughs> don't go don't did you go. ever see that movie from matt stone and trey parker the america film i forget what it's called like uh but there's like there it's all like puppets and uh america world police yeah america Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. you know like so in that movie they have like the you know the, all the celebrities are gathered around you know in north korea and game. like they're all up in it and it's almost like the you know you get stuff leaked out in the in the, through the media at times you know like yeah. i always wonder like you know cia mk ultra like leaks people are leaking all the time different ideas leaking. and concepts they might know something and like yeah. that always made when the epstein stuff came out i was like dude it's like uh what was it called america uh team america world police team america, I, think, right. I think is what here's the real conversation here's a real conversation we have to think about what is the most important thing when we're having fucking conversations like what is the point of the conversation and i think that here when we're talking about p diddy is that if all of this is real and billionaires traffic children and potentially do horrendous things to them then um more people who are around them probably do those things and Yo. Can I blow your mind for a sec? I learned something. And if more people do those things and they're still not being tried or they're still not being executed, then what do, like, why? I don't understand how this is entertainment. I'll tell you why, Joel. Okay. Because you know who the largest traffickers of children are? It's not sex traffickers like you might think. The Jews. <laughs> He's so stupid. in the Trump voice. <laughs> It's bit, it's pharmaceuticals. It's third world pharmaceuticals. They're always like they have labs set up all over the world where they do tests on children. They buy them at the southern border so that they can export them into places where they could do genetic testing on them for for vaccines. And Adam, I want this is the point. Who owns those companies? They're it's like a higher form. They're like above the celebrities. The celebrities are trafficking the Nazis. Just say it, Adam. It's the Nazis. It's, we, it we is the Nazis. Nazis, Nazis are a big part of it, but there's other evils in the world too. I'm trying to prove a point here, and it's okay. You're saying that the enemy is now people in the pharmaceuticals. Okay, who owns those companies? It's the same same people that are invested in the hold up. It's the same people that are invested in the record labels, right? It's the same people who are invested in the prison system. Right. And so if all of these people are invested in all of these things and money is what controls all of these things. And that's how you're given everything when you saw your soul and you do all these fucking things like at Bohemian Grove and it's blackmail and it's all it's all money. Um, well, who values money the most? Mm -hmm. The Jews. Well, I'm not even going there. I'm not like, hold on. Oh, I know that was for memes and shit. Like, Don't miss it the softball. I'm going on. deeper. I'm going Satanist childhood pedophile fucks. I'm going it there. It really is a Satanist childhood pedophile. I'm going deeper, bro. It's the interdimensional clockwork elves. <laughs> interdimensional clockwork elves working through full space. The no. DMT. They're gathering together. They all see it. They all see it. They say the clockwork elves. <laughs> I do There's think a continuum of power. There's a continuum of evil power that, that join forces together. Let's baby blood. Let's talk about baby blood and how people are pedophiles. Let's talk about DMG, baby. Hold on. It's yeah. so delicious in matzo ball soup. This is going to be great. This is oh going to be God. great. Listen, right? for baby the record, blood. I just want to say. Oh, baby blood. Okay. So why is it that there's supposedly this thing called like adrenochrome? There's supposedly. Uh, we don't there know. There is no That's, adrenochrome in my let's, moth balls. Let's, yeah, let's talk about QAnon. Let's go Hell, there next. Hey, let's go there. It's the fucking point, guys. I just talked about, you know, you said the Jews, the Jews. Well, I think it's weird. I just joke it. Why? I know. Same. Right. We're all just having fun. Who? Why are we? Why are we drinking baby blood? And why are we cutting dicks and drinking baby blood? And like if all these people, you know, at the end of the day, to me, like that's Satanist behavior. And I You're think talking about the circumcision. What about I, when Christians drink the blood of yes. their Jewish king? Oh, oh, I agree. Yes. I think Satanism. Okay. Yes. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Satanism. Yeah. It's when? All right. Now, now Meyer it's wants in. Uh, okay, before we go, let's give a little bit of context. I just want to say, bring him in. Let's go. Oh, hold on, but for the record, bing, bing, bing. Like, let, let, let was like, introduce him. this has gone on before, and it's important because Owen Schroyer asked me this yesterday about if I would debate Stu Peters, and I actually did debate Stu Peters, mm -hmm. and, and Joel Bauman was the moderator, and we worked for like a month to pull that off. We worked really hard, and last time that I debated Stu Peters, I dropped it so fire that I started freestyle rapping my debates it was so epic the video got deleted because 
Andrew Mayer crept up into that debate too, like he's doing into this. And he just start went a hundred percent. I'm gonna fight you, Stu Peters. We're gonna get in a fist fight. We're gonna fight, fight, fight. Dude, hijack my spot. And I don't want him to hijack this spot. This is a is I worked really hard to pull Adam? off this panel with you, Brad, Adam. a lot chasing. of people. We could debate. Him. Uh we could debate. I, I want to bring him in. I don't want him to stay the whole time. After Adam this King segment is, is done, Jay. I want him to go. I want to get back to the conversation we're having. All right. So is Andrew bring him ankle in. biting? All right. Now, All right. go ahead in. and join this, back in. He keeps leaving. If he just waited, I could pull him in. And he Andrew before Mayer. I can let him in. The, this, is so, the clash, uh, this is the clash for Top J right here on the kill stream. Top J on the line. Dude. And nothing will get deleted no here pressure. unless Rumble themselves deletes it because uh, I don't do that. No. In the oi corner <laughs> and in the vey corner. <laughs> All right, Andrew, Let's come go, back. I was, I, if you would have just stayed there, I could have already let He's you getting in right shook, now. dude. He's getting shook. Where He's is not he? Ready. Black people are the real. No below the this belt. This is your, this is your moment. Uh, if you would have just stayed hey. there, I could have let you in. I was, it said admit, but what now you you're bail? not there. Where is what? he? Fuck, we got to work up or nothing. I've been asking this dude to debate me for months. Hey, if you're going to fuck around, like, come, you got to come in now. Well, he did just... come in a couple times, and then, and then I was about to let him in right there, but hey, he dude, wanted to. Somebody it. text the motherfucker. Because now he's, well, he's got to be listening, right? Just join the link again, and I can press admit, and you can come on the show. Um, okay, oh, here it is. Cold feet, man. Cold feet. We psyched him out. There, there he is. Go. All right, there it is. The beta Migdosh lover, right Alex, there. Alex Does Jones' handler, face? right here, Andrew Meyer. Is his face? I don't know. Uh, that's up to him if he turns his camera on, but his microphone's well, also well, not on. So that face. would be an even worse problem. Yeah, no anons. Nah, you gotta, you gotta be here, man. You're, you're dragging me. Go down. your face, Jew. <laughs> uh. Well, we can't hear him either. Oh, of course, well, like, there's all this action on the screen, and then there's this weird black hole of nothingness in the center. And so, like, don't be a black hole of nothingness, out. okay? Come on, you could do better than that. I mean, if you're gonna fight, you gotta show up. You can't just like, like, phone call. Right, like, now it looks yeah, like my cousin. I'm gonna hit him, and I'm gonna, you know. It looks like his mic is on. Camera is still on. Take a ride with me. Ethan, dun, dun, remember dun, you hosted? Dun, dun, dun. You might have forgot, but you hosted a debate between and me and yes, Mayor. I on remember. Killstream he's been on the show. He's had his camera. Oh, on he just had camera issues. Is that the problem? Or uh, is he hiding? Could be. If you hit those three dots, you can switch your cameras and your mics. Uh, Masad is shutting it down. He doesn't want him to no. make uh, it look bad. I can hear something coming from you, but I can't see. Oh, jeez. We hear you, Andrew. We hear we you. We hear you, but if you hit those, if you hit these three dots right here, you go to settings, uh, and then you go to video. You can switch your camera to the right camera. Um, sorry, I've had to do this tech support live. Eh, I'm a tr I'm a troglodyte. I'm trying, but I'm not. I'm not having a good time. Sorry, a Adam. Adam, the chat's asking. Troglodyte is a trope. <laughs> I don't like that term used. I thought Adam, it was like something that's bad at technology. Yeah, people have called me troglodyte, and I don't like it. <laughs> Adam, Adam, the chat's asking if you changed your name from Adam Moloch to Adam Melek. Adam Moloch to Adam <laughs> Melek. That's so funny. Is it? What's Melek? Oh, You're yeah. not going with King? What's Melek? King. Melek means king. Oh. All right, now. Melek, Melek, Melek. Hey, this is sucking. Yeah, this I know. Why, what are you going to say? I thought he was coming in to bring the fire. Yeah. Hey, waiting for you to pass the mic, man. Well, go ahead. I'm not stopping ready. you. I... Go so ahead, man. man. Show oh your face. Oh, oh, Show your face. Show your face. Bad guy. Bad guy. Bad guy. Show your face, Andrew. Man. 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 How many times has somebody told you you look to like see a your face, Andrew, Alex man. Jones? No, wait. What did, what did you say? He said, Matt Baker, how many times has someone told you that you look like a Rastafari and Alex Jones? Uh, love, there, was actually a, there was actually a deep fake done of me with Alex's face on, and it's fucking awesome. You guys actually do look a lot alike. It's funny. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you know, it's weird. I, I think our bloodlines aren't, aren't that Do you cold. come to make out with Matt Baker or fight me, man? Come on. What are you doing? Yo, what? relax. What? Well, what do you got to say, man? Come on. No, I, I wanted to talk about I mean, we, had, we pretty much covered every topic. No. Oh, he didn't come here to debate me, Matt. He just came to talk to you. So you guys could talk about I Alex Jones with the likes. Yeah, uh, relax, buddy. Uh, you're I a little quiet, Andrew. Oh, you're a little quiet. Because, uh, you have a man in a yarmulke. Ethan it takes a special uh, yarmulke to wear a bow tail. Who has the smallest hat? 
Let's go. See, I'm yarmulke. big, bro. I got the biggest yarmulke, bro. I wear the biggest size yarmulke. yarmulke. I, I, do. That I do. I Most like yarmulke stores don't even yarmulke. have the size that I wear. Crazy. I have the special order my size. It's so big. So, All right. Go ahead. Uh, Andrew, yeah, yeah. Mark. Ethan, yeah. you were playing a video earlier of uh, Mark Dice, and he was uh, dissecting the whole space with Jeremy Boring. And yes. Mark Dice played my question to Jeremy Boring which is why did you fire Candace? And I thought what Jeremy said was such a cop-out. I thought it was. I thought it was so cowardly for him. Oh, you, you know, we just can't answer those questions, you know. That's it just something scary. that we can't talk about. It's such a lie. He doesn't want to say. Is it, is it though, knows. honestly, is it, though? Like, if you're the CEO of a company and you, like, divulge stuff when maybe they had some type of, like, you know, privacy agreement or something, oh, or some please. of the, the yeah, some of the uh, fine see. print, like, we, we, if we he talks about it, she no. could sue him. If if, if she no, talks no, about no. it, she could sue no, him. That's awesome. Can't 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 and so I can't really get into it from here on out. I'm sure you can understand. Instead, he's like, oh. Sound like lawyer talk to me. No, it's 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 cowardice. It was It's cowardice. He's using that as cover. And I just think that anybody praising Jeremy Boring for that, it's so weaselly. It's so groveling. Like, Jeremy Boring is disgusting. Daily Wire is controlled opposition. And if you go on the internet, especially if you're like, I'm a Jew for America, and then you praise Jeremy Boring, the CEO of the Daily Wire, I just think that's disgusting. Like, the Daily Wire is the problem. Them and all the controlled opposition on the right, they're the reason that we haven't won yet because there's a lot of great Americans that are being led in the wrong direction by these phonies. So, uh, yeah, don't go right. on the internet and praise Jeremy Boring. Anybody that all right. do. now look, uh, I don't Speaking disagree with Boring. Your yeah, look, I don't disagree with that, but I thought we were gonna have some blood here. Like, I thought that's why no, we brought no, you I'm in. I'm actually not, not praising him. I no, said that there's Zionists in the controlled you, the opposition. That, the guy that told yeah. you we're gonna fight is telling you that I care about him. I'm I'm not interested in him. I saw your tweet, Ethan, yeah, that you're talking about Shmuley, and I was literally in the stream where we were going at Jeremy Boring because of everything that's going on, Shmuley and Candace. And I wanted this to talk like, about the greatest attack on me is that I enjoyed listening to Jeremy Boring speak. So, okay, dude, you yeah. got me good. Like, I'm not uh, you don't, you. Andrew, you don't think that he handled that at all? Like it wasn't a disaster for him. I didn't see it like that. No, no, I dude, not was... a one with Nick Fuentes that like kicked the ball forward for in, in a whole new world of reality. That's wild. That's no, so was, wild. It was crisis that's, that's, that's the twilight gone really wild. You Jeremy can't even doing... appreciate that, man. Jerry was doing forces. How many people the have been pushing Shapiro to, to debate with Fuentes? Right. And he got boring? That's impressive, hey, man. I, you can say whatever you want, but that was impressive. Hey, what speak, are you guys talking about? Speaking of fighting, I got a fight coming up. I am going to call it a night. I got a That's spar. Cool, man. You spent a lot of time, man. Uh, I appreciate it. Pick out Andrew before he goes. Let's get this done. He's Andrew's like stealing thunder. His name's Jake Bateman. He's one of from this legendary wow, band. Yeah. Fight Logan Paul about. We gotta see you fight one of the Paul brothers. That's what we need. Wait, no, no, wait. Yeah. wait let, let King Bow talk and, and promote where people can find you. They probably already know anyway. And talk about your next fight a little bit here uh, before you go. And thank you for spending so much time on the panel too oh, yeah. as well. And at underscore King BAU, at underscore King BAU. Andrew, I appreciate you. We will get Jake and Logan Paul the fuck out of here because uh, I eradicate childhood malnutrition. And when we get 3 million people on my company's food technology that biohacks your body back to optimal, we will effectively eradicate childhood malnutrition from the planet. So uh, instead of drinking Prime, quit drinking that dumb shit and biohack your body with Aloe Vea, alovea.com, alovea, and use the promo code SAVEKIDS. You can also go to savekids.life savekids.life and get yourself some incredible food technology. I will whoop Jake Babian's ass, who is friends with Jake Paul, and then we will call out Jake Paul and Logan and fucking it will be great. April 13th, Anaheim, Kelly. Hey, Val. Oh, you're quick. coming into Anaheim? I'll be there. I'll be before there. Before you say, I'm before you up. say, before you bow out, Yeah. Uh, uh, you said you uh, Dude, I told you Matt Baker is the best in the business. Mm -hmm. I, I think you could, you could coin the term bow hacking. That's fire. I'm going to give you uh, I'll give you 40%. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, sir, yeah. for spending so much time with us. Yo, Joel, you're the man. Really Thanks enjoyed. for coming on yeah, this. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Looking forward to future collaborations with everybody. You. Thank you Peace. so much. Um, now, my, I'm face? not going to lie. I, I, you know, I've always right. gone along with you, but I, I, I thought you were coming to bring the heat, man. I, I thought we were yeah, going to have some blood here. 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 Now I'm just like, now I'm, I'm a little disappointed, man. I thought you were going to come in and like start throwing down. And, I know. You were falsely led by, uh, 
Uh, I was here to talk to Ethan Ralph, Adam Green, Matt Baker. It's a great panel. So I don't, the guy I know, well, Adam, Adam King helped real. put it together. I don't know if you you're know not really that. Adding Adam Green. Right? <laughs> you're not talking. Don't you think Adam's doing a great job, Andrew? Adam Green's doing a great job. I agree. Was he, was he good on Schroyer the other day? You think, do you approve of that? You were on Schroyer, Adam? Adam Green? No. It was so good, man. Malik was. I'm surprised you didn't think that he's been trolling me so hard. You might just be faking it. Andrew's so (laughs) mad because Adam said that he would destroy Christianity instead of Islam when they asked him. Catholicism, not Christianity. I made a big distinction. I'm not mad about about him. I rate, bro. You blew me up in my book club. (laughs) (laughs) What's Goldberg going to do? I rate. And I'll tell you something. The debate I had with Stu Peters was legendary. It got deleted because Andrew Mayer hijacked it. I think this dude might be like some sort of psyop here to like kind of like disrupt certain things. Like he's He's infiltrating the all right and telling him to love Jesus. Keep an eye on this guy because I've given him the benefit of the doubt. This dude was my student for one year. He came every single week to my Bible study. Total only to only to suddenly awaken that like Adam King felt a certain way, and then he's gonna be like. So I, I challenged you to a bait. Let's talk about the issues. Listen, Mayor. I'm not like, here to talk about I've you. I've been chasing you around the internet for a day. You picked me out of your private DM group on Twitter because of this. Come you. on, dude. No, no, no. Not interested in oh. you. Ethan Ralph is interesting. Adam All right, then get off the panel that I put together. <laughs> <laughs> My panel, man. All I wanted to do is talk about you. We've got to make a better show. It's getting boring. We talk about it. getting boring. All right. I, again, I thought there would be a debate, but if there's no debate, yeah, that's it. I know. It's funny you, this guy said this whole thing is like the battle for top J, and then he comes over and just like yeah, surrender. You were like, lied to by that guy. He doesn't even, give it. He doesn't even want to well, open the book of the Bible. obviously have some kind of beef with him, right? Like, I mean, I, I don't care about him. Don't even know. Lauren Chen was I, like, yo, what's this? Like, why are you doing that? I'm rage quit. I'm rage quitting. <laughs> well, thank Ju- you. Ju on Ju violent. I, yeah, I thought we were gonna have some. You obviously have some kind of. I tweet the funniest tweet ever. Yeah. That Gavin McInnes got his dildo from Rabbi Shmuley. <laughs> <laughs> That was my dunk. That was epic, man. Sometimes I come up with really witty if shit. I didn't steal it. Someone else steal it. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey uh, Andrew, Andrew. It, isn't it true that in Kabbalah that Edom has a worse punishment and more is more the enemy of Jacob than Ishmael? Uh, that's a good question. You would probably know more about that than me, Rabbi Greenstein. Yeah, so you're getting mad at Adam for just uh, uh, being honest about what Judaism is a consensus view, and then your heretical Kabbalah, you're getting mad at him. I th- I find that funny. No, 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 no. The, oh, no, no. the thing that I, the, the one issue I did have with uh, Adam King is when he went on a stream and said, yeah, I'd rather eradicate Catholicism than Islam. Neither one of them should be eradicated. They're both legitimate paths to God. So, no, that's not... You're that? You're that? They're kosher. They're kosher, according to the Kabbalist, Andrew Meyer, who promotes Christianity and Jesus. That's the PSYOP, guys. Andrew, I got a question for you. Why did you say on the panel that the Third Temple doesn't matter to Jews? That was wild that you said that. I didn't say that. that? that? Why Why do you believe that? What are you talking about? I, I heard you, you on the panel, Andrew. The, the post that, panel, you said, oh, it's only some fringe people doing the heifer in the third temple, and that's not going to happen, and it's not well, serious, said, and the government's not for that. You know, the heifer guys are coming on my yeah. show tomorrow. The, the Jews are about to disown you for some, a statement like that, man. Let me, let me get the mic. Uh, okay. What I said about the third temple, which is true, and uh, you can look at the book. It's called Secrets of the Third Temple. The cover of the book is literally the temple descending from the heavens. And so it's not that it's not important. It's just that the temple comes after. It's not that we build it. It descends from heaven. It's not that man built it. That, that was the whole thing. A real temple of stone is going to float yes. down from the sky? That's yes. what you think? Yes. That sounds Literally ridiculous. Cover, look up the book, <laughs> Secrets of the Third Temple. By That's one I don't care about the book. I, hey. I see rabbis and Jews all over the internet and all over the world talking about building the temple on the Temple Mount, a real temple. So he's like one of the... That's what I was saying with with joel and king bow is like we can marry the messiah by bringing it ourselves we have free will we could do these things there's like a trip wire that was built inside a creation whereby which god will trigger everything by himself and just come down but we are more than entitled to build our vision of the world which is which is our third temple in jerusalem and our tiny little piece of earth where we can jew as hard as we want (laughs) all right well
Andrew, again, I thought we we're going to have a little fire here uh, from you. We were, you know, we were all having a little bit of a kumbaya, and I thought you were going to come in and. We know, were ready for the smoke, yeah, man. I was ready I'm for, the, for this, the, the whole throwdown. Show. And, uh, and you me know, too. I want world peace, man. I'm all about wow. peace. Then what is your hatred for me for? Why are you why are you hating on me everywhere you go? You were my student for like a year. You never missed a class. What the what is it the whole thing about? I don't I get wish, you. I wish you would stop. Lying you asked me to apologize to you in my group, and I did. And I don't even know what I apologize to you for. Like, it was so pathetic cuck level. You're like, honest to God, you're an apologist and like you're a bootlicker. And I'm so sick of you because like you troll me so hard on the internet and then you show up here and like totally take over my panel that I've been working for like a month and a half with Ethan to put together. I debated fucking Nathaniel Kapner. I was supposed to debate E. Michael Jones. He pussied out because Nathaniel Kapner said no. I had to debate that guy just to get this panel where Kapner was going to come with E. Michael Jones. Both of them fell out because I beat them so hard. I put together Matt Baker. Adam Green came because he was previous moderator. Joel Bauman came. Richard Spencer was supposed to come. It was a scheduling error. We were going to bump to Friday, but we were like, no, nah, let's just do it. I put a lot of work in here for you to just show up after having a beef with me like you had over the internet for two months now and not say shit. You want to say something, say something. Or leave your conflict alone if you're going to come up in, my, in this panel that I put together and say, you just want unity. I've been reaching out to your bitch ass for two months trying to make peace with you, and you're the only one who has a problem with me. Now I got a problem with you because you're stupid and you just got up in my, in my show that I put on with these fucking amazing people. And you won't even put up your face you loser come on show yourself coward let's go i'll draw blood for the internet because they want to see the blood <laughs> now can you stop trolling me yeah are you not entertained yeah again you have a big ego i'm here for ethan ralph and adam green i don't care about you you think you're here for them that's so I, funny do I get, do I get where, the where are you his student yes there? or no where are you his student yes or no i i just want uh i don't know two minutes to are talk you his about student adam. Uh, yes or no? Mellis, Adam Mellis, Andrew, Mellis, Andrew, Mellis. Andrew, Andrew, I'm on the panel too. So, seeing as you're not uh, being very entertaining, I'm going to try and make you understand. <laughs> were you? Oh, thank you. Were you his student or not? No. Oh, oh, the anguish. You never were his student. No, no, no. What, what, made that up. Did no, you no, not no, join no, the no, Kabbalah no. class that he has been no, running? So Adam I've got videos of you for days commenting Adam, on Adam. all my classes, bro. I'll, I'll wait. Let me know when it's my turn. Go for speak, it, dude. Speak and bring something so, because I'm about hey, to have to dismiss you. Okay. You yeah. stabbed me in the heart. Well, listen, first of all, I'm here to talk to Ethan and Adam. All right, look, stop sucking up to me. I appreciate it, but look, I'm I brought you on to fight hey, with look, Adam King. Yeah, There's no reason. Adam. 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 And I'm the here for Ethan and Adam. Not you, Adam King. We always got along, but like I thought you were coming in to fight. Like That's why I brought you on. We had a pre-planned panel, and you and you were acting like I was keeping you out on behalf of Adam King or something like that, or there's some plot against you. Show your face so we can make clips of you in there. You won't even show your face. But you weren't part of the panel in the first place is what I'm saying. Like You just showed up and said, let me on. Clip your L, bro. Edit this whole part out. Leave when you bell leaves. Just cut the stream. Okay. I'm here. <laughs> anyway, so okay. for people that don't know, for people that don't know, Andrew Meyer uh, helped do the Alex Jones video game, and he's from the he's the Don't Tase Me Bro. Yeah, yeah. From yeah, he's he the asked the question. Bro. Remember oh, years ago? Oh man, now I'm talking shit to the Don't Tase Me Bro. Fuck, yeah, bro. I love he, don't Tase Me Bro. Thank you. Shit. Yeah, he's Don't Tase Thank Me Bro. You, bro. Sucks, well, if I could see your face, I, I, know, don't, I don't know. Sucks, I love I Don't Tase Me Bro. Well. The I'm like telling I'm Andrew over here. Don't taste no, me. I'm sorry, Andrew. Hey, you're a cool dude, man. <laughs> Seriously, no. Uh, I didn't you, know who you were because I can't see you, dude. It's thank just you. making the stream boring a little bit. Listen, yeah, I, I think I'll, you're awesome. I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Should I freestyle and pump it up? Yeah, freestyle on. No, uh, Andrew Mayer. I really gotta I pray, got right? Directed to God, and I'm saying like a truth sayer. Come up to my grill, start fighting, blowing up my spot with two fists. I well, wasn't I actually I learning from everything on top of the do. Top J, this what I could do. Close my eyes, King David's blood runs inside of me. That's why I got the book of Psalms running up <laughs> behind me. Everything's following me. Angels galore. As I go to Jerusalem, the city hardcore, where the Lord comes down, burdening third temple <laughs> flesh, and he knows what's coming. It's the Messiah coming next. If you want to sit here, you want to be entertained. This guy's coming up on this podcast trying to get up in my brain. But all I want to do is say a freestyle and say my name. Adam oh. King, Legacy. I'm the one who came to fame. Get out of here, Andrew Mayer. 
Yeah. You're oh, out of Andrew Mayer's yeah. awesome. Don't tase me, bro. I love that guy. Yeah, that I gotta, I gotta remove. Awesome. I gotta remove him. No, no. Yeah, but I gotta say, but, no, I, gotta no, say, I, I, I take back what I said. You're, I, I love the game. I love the game, and I love, no, no, I love no, no. the don't tase me. Bro. I the game is a good thing, even though Andrew Mayer is one of the owners. You should still support the game. Yeah, anyway, so the lie that oh, it's not it's it's you, it, bro. Uh, that's it it's you, it's, man. Okay. I defeat you, and then I say, don't affect that. That's good. Yeah, nah, I just want to support Alex wanna... Jones, everybody, even if this schmuck is attached to it. What, when do I get the mic? This guy just gets to lie. Oh, take about it. Me Sorry, here, take it from my freestyle jam, bro. I had to mute him right. during the freestyle because he fucked that up, too. So well, I mean, I he, he actually was, you know, lying about me, and I'm trying to answer. And anyway, uh, Adam was not my teacher, he had a book club where everybody in the club would read from this book called 138 Openings of Wisdom. It's a great book by Moshe Chaim Lutzato. Uh, the teacher the only the English, club, right. the only English, English translation in the world is through I, mean, I, would, I would listen it's to Adam much. Green read that book out loud. I'm not there to learn from Adam King. I'm there to listen to Moshe Chaim Lutzato read out loud. Oh. So Adam King claiming he's my teacher is very egotistical. It, it's nonsense. Just call him your okay, rabbi, dude. He's your rabbi, rabbi, Andrew. Just admit it. Huh? He's your rabbi. Never, never, my God, never. Oh my God, <laughs> I shall not kiss the ring. Hey, I gotta uh, say, uh, he's very defensive, he's very egotistical. I mean, you clearly came on this just because he's a part of this, right? not even a ch bro. I, All right, I gotta, I, 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 I gotta, the, I gotta, I, I just can't like like was on here because he loves me, he doesn't Lord even Alex follow me on Twitter. I, don't, I like don't, Andrew don't Meyer, but happening. I don't like he being lied to, right? Like, I don't, I don't like being lied to. Uh, and it's like, I gotta say, I retract my statements. I know I said it before, I have, I've hit him up, I wanted to do something with him. I love the video game, I like the fact that he did the don't taste me, bro thing. I saw him on Infowars, he seems pretty chill. So I didn't mean to be a total asshole, but it was kind of fucking up the scene because there was yeah. a black hole and, and, and he, the That's audio was bad and the video was so non-existent. And, and no offense, uh, bro. It, don't take Yeah, me. I have nothing against him, but it's clear. <laughs> and, and you know, me and Adam King and Adam Green, we worked on this for a while and, and tried to set this up right. Uh, and he acted like I was blackballing him or something. Well, he wasn't part of the event in the first place. And yeah, he's dude. clearly just coming on because he doesn't like Adam King, which is fine. You know, if, you, if that's the way you feel, well, then come on and bring some heat. You came on and brought the yeah. weak sauce, and it's just like a, a black hole just sinking. I know. He couldn't uh, even put his picture up because he knew there would be a clip of it looking like an idiot. And so it's better for him this way. But you want to know something? He'll probably be mad at me now, but Andrew I had to take him off. I'm sorry. Andrew Mayer, lick your wounds. I'll forgive you. Drop your beef. You could come back to the book club. <laughs> yeah, we could have even made peace here, but I don't know. It's just He could be the prodigal son. It was too you know, it, it, was yeah, all, it was fucked up, too, because like last week I reached out to him and I was like, bro, this is so stupid. Like You're like down with Alex Jones. I love Alex Jones. Come back to the book club. He's like, he's like, if you make an apology letter to the book club and add me back in, I'll come back to the book club and I'll forgive you and all this shit. And I, like, there's like all these text messages about this. I'm not going to release them because that's stupid. And I go before my students. I have 37 students now. I had 53 before he led a revolution against me in my own damn what book What the club. fuck? Me yeah, he me. came to my book club that he was because he knows everybody's phone number because he came every single week for a year. And he blows it up. I write the apology letter. I can read it to you guys if you want the beef. No, but like, I don't want the uh, beef. I don't want to sacrifice the, the artificial lamb any more than I already did. But the truth is, is I apologize to this fool in front of all my students. My students were really impressed. They were like, Adam, you are a humble man. Because they all saw what happened to him. He, like, dragged my name through the mud all over Twitter because I said what I said. And Gavin rage quit. And he was so butthurt for Gavin. Blah, 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 blah. And, it, and then this fool, like, I, 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 you know, he drags me through the mud telling everybody I should be kicked off Infowars and shit. And Adam Green was the one who brought it to my attention to begin with that he's, like, trolling me with all the groipers and, like, trying to fight me and shit. And I literally go to him. He's, like, dragging me through the mud, and I try to make peace with him for two months. So much so that I literally humble myself when I don't even have to in front of my own students to welcome him back in because he said he wanted to come to the book club. And then he used the platform on X with Lauren. We're literally Penn talking about just diss me constantly. This is what's happening. I also am having a knitting club coming up soon. Maybe. Like for anybody who would like to learn knitting, a little crocheting, crochet, yeah. Matt Baker's crochet club will be starting soon, and I would like to 
except members. Just well, you know, we had an agreeable conversation. I thought entertaining all night, and then that it was like, well, we were going to – Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. And yeah. then I thought, well, yeah. we'll end it with some fire here and some and yeah. some blood sports, and then it's like, it's, oh, I'm not really mad at this dice. guy. You and, rolled the dice. Yeah, it, and clearly you, know, you are. Hold exist, on. But I rolled the dice. I got to to realize. Ralph and Adam Green, they wanted me on. And I have nothing against him. He won't even follow me on Twitter, so he doesn't He doesn't care about me. The other day at the 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 big space with Lauren Chen and, and Nick and uh, Sovereign Bra and Jeremy Boren from the Daily Wire. Adam was on there. And then when he fi- he, when he got a chance to talk, Andrew was like, shut up, shut up. You're Smoothly. You're just like Smoothly. Shut up. You don't need to talk. And then he comes in here and he's all soft and doesn't want to say anything. That's crazy. And I'll tell you something. I had a talk with Fuentes after that on the DM. It wasn't long, but it was short. And he called it out. He's like, yo, what's Andrew's problem with you? He's like, and he said that was fun to watch. And I was impressed because like, you know, like there's so much beef and hostility that comes out of Fuentes towards Jews. And here because of that unbelievable panel with everybody who participated, even if Andrew Mayer was such a hater and had to like give a low blow to Jeremy Boring, your movie sucked, blah, blah, blah. He made a fucking movie. What a man, dude. Like what a beat. What a total boss to make a movie. Like, give me a Did break. Did you watch it? Did Fuck you up. watch it? Did and then, anybody and watch it? Is that Nick Fuentes it, and I had sort of, some sort of one-on-one private DM. The world just got closer to peace, man. And this fool's like complaining, trying to hate me, trying to stop me. And he can't because he can't even come into this party. I'll just keep freestyling him, pushing his face. Yeah, King uh, gonna sing. Gonna gonna put put it the well, that actually uh, made me mad too. Ralph Adam Green and Matt Baker. I'm not taking shit from Andrew Mayer. I'm real. I'm not a faker. <laughs> well, that made me mad too because that was the entertaining part, and he's trying to talk over your freestyle. And I'm just like, God, well, this was the only entertainment out of the the whole con- confrontation there between you two. But anyway, yeah. I, I just don't like disingenuous. Clearly, he has a beef with you. Well, just come in and bring the heat if that's the case. Um, yeah, dude. I, uh, Owen Troy was like, Adam King is not afraid to fight to debate anyone. And here, the dude blows up my spot. I like give a preface before I'm like, okay, I don't want to. Like- you didn't well, he did with Stu Peters was so fucked up because that was legendary. And Owen even asked me if I'd be down to do another with Stu Peters. And I think, yeah, I would totally. And I'm not going to be mean or anything and try to, like, destroy Stu Peters or anything like that. I'd love to have a conversation with him. But when Andrew hijacked that, and, and Bao knows everything because he was the moderator. I'm telling you, it's like a psyop. Like, he got a call from somebody saying, shut it down. Because I was freestyling the whole thing to Peters. It was like a 20-minute all 20 minutes of my responses were freestyles, and Peter's deleted Andrew video. Andrew is working for the Nazis yeah. to stop well, maybe Adam not the from becoming the most somebody, because It was weird. Uh, I think that's the down. theory. He went up in the <laughs> Peter thing, and his whole thing was Stu, because he wanted, just like he did here, he wanted to ask a question to Stu. So he comes up on it, and his question is like, I want to fight you. I want to bash your head into the ground. I want blood. And then Stu Peters diverts, and the next 45 minutes becomes about where they're going to meet up in America to have a fist fight. And I'm sitting here with Joel, and I'm like, what the fuck? We just worked a month to put that on between Stu and I. We had s- several private conversations and three ways on the phone between Stu and I so that we both could feel comfortable yeah. getting on camera together and doing it. It was so oh, much well, I like Stu Peters. And the mayor shows up with his fucking good. whatever and just, like, tries <laughs> to start a fist fight. That's so childish. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, and he, and no, he just didn't that, bring the entertainment. I think Andrew might yeah, be a secret goyim. What do you think, Adam? Secret goyim. Is he a crypto <laughs> goyim? He's a secret something, and, and at <laughs> best, he's just an ultimate hater, and he's jealous of me. Yeah. And is I, it true that the Jews call uh, the, the non-Jews the goyim? At, the truth is, is that a goy is a human being. So, like, that isn't. That isn't that's uh, the word goy. So when it's referred to in scripture, everyone's a goy in scripture. You know, that should be like our new one t-shirt. Verse. Everyone's only one a goy. Verse. All the rest Everyone's of the are the, the, the other non-Jewish yeah. nations. I love that, dude. I want that. Clear. If, if that shirt gets sold, somebody that my goy. This this panel is proof that I came up with that word. Everyone's could, a goy. You would try to trade like that, Adam. Yeah. You would. It, it's kind of like it's goy like meets world. <laughs> goy meets world. <laughs> God, black right. people are good rappers because they can just put the n-word at the end of any sentence it's like i, I went to the store nigga to, to buy a beer nigga and it's like man this guy rhymes great dude it's like wait amazing a so, so, oh, wait a <laughs> so you can be like you know my jew or my goy we can just be like you know i went to the store goy to get a big goy you know we'll just add that in and then pretty soon our rap careers will be blown up 
I love it, dude. We're gonna start a rap group. <laughs> <laughs> what would it be called? I, I, know, I, don't know. I did ask Matt because Matt freestyles too. He's actually quite good, and there's a couple people who could freestyle. And Matt, we're on, we were talking about different concepts we could do, and we were like, we should have a cipher where we freestyle <laughs> what we think about the world and politics. I think that would be the shit. I think it. Yeah, uh, uh, an all. And Stu Peters can rap right. too, man. Stu yeah, Peters yeah. can rap too. He could be on the album. Yeah. And Alex Stein can rap too. We get Alex Stein in there, oh, dude. It would be legendary. You know? yeah, it would break the, the left. They'd be like, "Oh my God, what did they do?" <laughs> they get Bryson Gray. Bryson Gray could rap too. There you go. Yeah, he's he, putting he out can... a movie himself, actually. Uh, speaking I'm of movies, I think it, it didn't, isn't it already out? Yeah, I don't it's know if it's out, out yet. I just saw last week he was yeah. talking about it. Yeah, uh, and his wife makes the best movies. cookies. I swear to God, it's cool because there's like so much music. It's like it's almost like a rock opera. You like, have his wife the wall or something. Yes, like that. I've been. Yeah, before they were yeah, married, though. But yes, Twitter, my wife is barefoot in the kitchen. I'm like, yo, I want a house. Bro. They are the, literally probably the want. best cookies I've ever had in my life. I'm not kidding. God bless Bryce. They are what a, so Bryce and Gray's co uh, wife's cookies. Yes, I'm not. And not oh. any metaphors, by the way. Not being serious. Like, her actual, like, what kind of code is this? No, no, for? no, no, What's no. I'm serious. Here? They're like chocolate chip and white chocolate chip mixed together. Like it's fucking delicious. Oh, wow. Sounds and like I, some Pizzagate yes. type of shit. No, no, no it's so not coded language. I, I swear because I saw just pearly things or Pearl Davis talking about how good the cookies were, and I was. Like Liam wow, Jared okay. I guess on Rumble. she cooks them often, the right? Like the ears and I born. said, literally, they're some of the best cookies I've ever had. Dude, uh, and she Bryce and Grace should brand that and put the Girl Scouts out of business. Yeah, dude, uh, they they're good enough to be sold. Like they're that fucking good. Wow, uh, good. So uh, good. I had a great time talking with all you guys tonight. I yeah, you too, to... man. Thanks for having us. Yeah, uh, Matt Baker I making your debut it. here, man. Thank you. We'll have to have you back. I'd like to do some more of these panels uh, if you guys yeah. be down. I don't know. Do you, if you have my contact or you follow me or yeah, I follow you. On Twitter, uh, so uh, then, D then DM me. I I, I gotta kind of catch up on some DMs, but yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. I just want to say my closing statement. I'll give you my phone number out the air. Sure. And, uh, yeah. Better just text me and shit. Yeah, so, yeah. I'll, 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 I'm I'll usually, give you mine. Yeah. Mine's Mexican, but I can add you on WhatsApp anyway. Uh, I don't know if you use WhatsApp. Are you in Mexico? Yeah, I live in the Yucatan here in Merida. Yeah. Oh, no way. Sick. Yes. yes Crazy. Uh, yep. I'm in the Yucatan. Uh, when did you move there? In, uh, well, long story. Um, I originally moved here with some other people. I won't go into it because it's a long the story. Latinas? No, no. Uh, if only. Oh, I had a... I have some situations I can't quite go into fully uh, on the air, unfortunately. But it's just me down here. AOC uh, wouldn't uh, have you. So yeah, you yeah. I've, I've had a, I've had quite a, booty Latinas. quite an interesting right. life. I've had several big booty Latinas since I've been here, but that wasn't the original uh, oh plan uh, when I came down here. But the Yucatan is beautiful, and I almost brought it awesome. up earlier when King Ba was talking about ancient civilizations yeah. and stuff because I've been he can to, rap too, by the way, in uh, all these places. Wonder of the world is like two hours from my house, stretching. Uh, Chetanita. Uh, oh, dope, man. Night. I would come down and visit you. How long have yeah. you been in, in the, in the uh, house down there? A uh, year and a half, I live down here. So, it's and you good. have you got a crew down there, or are you kind of a little like, bit of a crew? Yeah, I have a little bit of a crew. Uh, and my lawyer, nice. who's based, uh, he, he joined the local cartel. No, nice. I don't cartel. That's imperialist propaganda. Okay, I don't man. Believe in cartel. Okay. Uh, yeah, you I don't believe. It. <laughs> okay, another great lucha. Love me in the morning. Um, but uh, yeah, Ralph's man. made man in, in in Mexico. Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. The it's pretty burro, nice the burro, the burro. <laughs> you can buy uh Cuban cigars here too. I actually went to Cuba uh, uh, as well. Well, no, 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 I won't say anything about that. But uh, yeah. yeah, I flew to Cuba from here too. Uh, I, I get around. I get around. I, but, uh, tell people yeah. where they can find you, and then we'll go around the panel and say anything you want to say here at the end, Matt Baker. And then we'll go. Yeah, I just want to say. Uh, yeah, again, I think that the AI thing is rapidly coming towards us very fast. I think we've got a big problem. I do have an issue with X. My wife got tainted blood in a vaccine uh transfusion oh, and it caused these blood clots she was in the hospital for 26 days i did a big story on it Fuck. and x has freaking put a, a ban on it where it's like uh, sexual content and i can't get them to take it off oh, and it's about God. vaccine injuries on x they're they're banning that mm. so is it a free speech platform really i don't know but anyway you can find me on x funnily enough at slave underscore to underscore liberty slave underscore to slave to liberty and i also have a channel on band as does adam uh, uh, king 
and I'm mostly there. I lost my big Instagram account, so uh, I'm barely there, but I do enjoy uh, some of the content over there from time to time. But uh, yeah, if you want to get hold of me, it's on X slave underscore two underscore liberty slave to liberty. And you were great. You. Chat loved you. Uh, I loved having you on here tonight. Uh, I just linked your Twitter uh, in that same chat. Uh, so yeah, let's let's have you back on sometime, man. I really loved it. I'm all about it. Fuck yeah. All right, Matt Baker here, uh, and we'll go around the horn. Which Good Adam to meet you too, Matt. This is the first time I've uh, – well, we did a space, I think, but first time yeah, I've been on I really want. I've really been wanting to talk to you. You're supposed to come down. We're going to do something at the border and stuff with Adam, and it was going to be – you know, I was pretty excited about I that. I still want to do the border thing. Yeah. You should come I feel like nobody's covering – I feel I'm like nobody's covering the border in California. Texas gets all the attention. In California, they're pouring in, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's everywhere. It's worldwide. It's a global thing. Yeah, they're, they're, they're bringing in people from around the world. They're just trying to undermine all local yeah. cultures to destroy any pushback. So undermining they can our sovereignty. Out and cause discord and fuck up everything that we've built over the centuries. That's what yeah. they're doing. Uh, and what? I want to go ahead. Go ahead, Adam Green. It, it, it I, I, was wait, cool well, to meet you. Oh, okay, I was just going to say, I wanted to thank both you Adams for for helping put this together uh, and and doing this on the kill stream because it meant it was all me. me. It was <laughs> it was your idea originally, Thanks, yes. <laughs> but Adam. Yeah, I got blue lagged people. in at the end because Humble bitched out. <laughs> on Adam, so I got lucked out on that one. So thanks for uh, for bringing me in there, Adam King. And Adam yeah. Green. Too. Yeah, thanks for bringing him, uh, Adam. Yes. And, and Matt, it was cool to finally talk to you. I saw your super viral. Uh, city council speech that you did during yes. covid and i sent ralph the yes. uh rock metal version which is I'm super epic before I log on. yeah thank you thank the you, chat's friend. gonna love that that'll be a i actually you know i have, have an extended version of that because they cut off the part i said it they're like excuse me sir your time is up and he cut it off and i said and the penalty for violating the nuremberg code is death so i had to put that on the end and i used a little bit of music and and finished it out because i think it needed that part wow next level mm -hmm. need a little flushing out yeah um Adam Green, do you have anything to say, sir? Uh, watch my videos, my Christianity Deception playlist on Odyssey. Follow on Rumble and on Twitter. No underscore more underscore news. Ethan, so happy to be a part of this panel. You, we need to bring back the epic old school uh, panels that used I to agree. go down. I think and this uh, is a good I, I want to start having some on my show as well. You're invited, of course. I'd love that. Love to have you. And uh, it's good to be on here again. It was a fun talk. A lot of laughs. That's what I really enjoyed mm -hmm. is there a lot of laughs. Yeah. Yeah, there were. So, uh, and I, I enjoyed it, and I thought I thought we got a lot out of it. Uh, I think the audience enjoyed it as well, uh, judging by the viewers and the support. Uh, and I want to thank Adam King. Uh, I, I know uh, some people find it str strange. Like, I always say how well we get along. Uh, and they're like, what? Oh, I love like, Adam. Yeah, and they're like, what? What do you mean, Rob? I'm like, well, yeah, he's a cool guy. I mean, I don't agree with him on everything, of course. Uh, but he speaks <laughs> his mind. Uh, he's easy to get a hold of. He, he, you know, he's not on any bullshit, right? Like, I don't have to worry about where he stands on anything. Uh, and he's always down uh, to throw down in these panels or on a debate or just come on the show. I thought our interview uh, that we did uh, a couple weeks yeah, ago was, was, was really interesting as well. Uh, and so I just want to thank you uh, for putting in time to put this panel together and doing it on the kill stream and, and both both you and the other Adam. Yeah. And so hey, man. Finish your thoughts. I, I want to also thank you, Ethan. Uh, you know, you reached out to me. It kind of began this whole thing. You reached yeah. out to me over the EMJ thing. And I was just coming off of like debate after debate after debate, like basically trying to prove my existence to the world that I'm okay to exist alongside of people. And the internet gets ablaze with comments and everybody has an opinion. And I sat here like accepting challenge after challenge, patiently listening to these people insult me in my heritage. And I and you asked me if I debate E. Michael Jones and I, I immediately said yes. I didn't even hesitate for 10 seconds. I told you we had a long conversation about like some of the aftermath that usually comes after a big debate like that, where like my emails blow up and like it like people like get all Jew crazy on me and it gets nuts. And I told you I didn't want to do that, but I still show up to defend myself, even though it comes with a lot of territory and I got to deal with shit at the end of every one of these debates. And you were really cool about that. And uh, that was one point where I realized that you're a really cool stand up dude because you got it. And um, and then we've been working so hard together. And if there's one thing that I respect is hard work. And Ethan, you worked so hard to make this panel. This is such an epic, epic, epic panel. 
and so much good came out of this so much unity it was such next level stuff i don't think there's ever been a panel like this especially in our movement there's all this division and i think that division is being caused by external factors and people play into it and they want to be a part of it and they 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 join it and take sides and tribalism and and it cannibalizes our movement because what we want is freedom for humanity and so i stood up for the debate tapner had his thing i came through again you know sliced and diced him hoping that he was going to come back here and that he michael jones would join the conversation and both chickened out and then we had all sorts of other people that were coming and i thought by bringing baker and bauman because green was our the deal was that green was coming on because Kapner wanted green on the panel and e michael jones was going to draw join and it was going to be a whole thing and i brought baker because baker's like super funny cool like anti-israel i bought joel bauman because he's like on Stu peter's network i was like telling people yo come to the table i'm not coming with some bullshit. i'm coming with truth here's two freebies these are my friends we know how to get along and think differently than each other and sure enough they didn't come there's a bunch of people that were asked that didn't come. And then at the very, very end, this troll who's been hating me shows up and I'm sitting here like wanting the debate. Like it's all been about this grand debate and he gets in, won't show his face, won't debate, won't anything. So my closing statements are this, because everything that transpired- We're still getting the closing statement? Yeah. <laughs> what was, what did we just listen to I'm the last minute, Adam? I never thought you would give my closing man. statement. It's like a Jewish thing. It's a <laughs> Jewish <laughs> thing. <laughs> no, We're on Jew time. A Jewish thing. <laughs> but I'll finish. I'll, I'll conclude. Is that if you watch the Adam King show on Band.Video, on big. Rumble, whatever platform you want to watch, I love my Band.Video channel. It's the biggest honor in the world to be able to post alongside of Alex Jones. True who that. I admire so much. But my fight, the reason why I started the Adam King show is to fight the New World Order and to fight the enemies of team humanity, to fight the enemies of good, to defend God in the world and bring the Messiah. And all these people want to fight with me and try to stand in my way. And I showed up here and everybody had an opportunity. Even Pastor Anderson got reached out to. And all these people, I, I put it out there. Come, you want to take it out? Okay, no. Now I'd like for you all to let me get back to my work we're fighting an invisible army of evil. We need to stick together. We need to take out the enemy. We need to rise now. The word kumbaya means stand in God. So this is our kumbaya moment. America, kumbaya, stand in God, and let's unify. I'm not standing with the Jewish God, sorry. The New World Order. <laughs> nope. That's Adam King's last word. Not, not, not the God that you're talking about, sorry. Well, we all nice stood together try, here on nice the kill try. stream. Uh, so I appreciate it. I had a lot of fun. I, I had too. a lot of fun. Let's do it again. I can't let's wait for what comes out. Yeah, of I was about this. to say, let's try to do another panel. I know Spencer missed out because of some scheduling stuff. Perhaps we could put together uh, some of the same mix and add a few I'll more people. I'll tell you, again. I was so excited to speak with Spencer again. The, one of the best interviews I ever had was on his show. It never saw the light of day because that dude is so canceled and yeah. people don't really make it to his dark corner of the internet. That was one of the best interviews I ever had. I have so much respect for Spencer. I enjoyed our conversation, and I would I was so excited that he was going to join. It's unfortunate that it's a scheduling error, and I really look yeah, forward to Yeah, he was down to do it on Friday, and then we Yeah, you know, I'm we really looking talk. forward to the conversation, Richard. I really, enjoy, I really enjoy your you. perspectives. Thank you. You, you. Yeah. you know that, Adam? He was ready to bring the Apollonian thunder on you. He was going to strike oh, you down. Dude, bring the <laughs> Apollonian thunder. The Apollonian thunder. And it, it was about 70 AD all over again, Adam. Trust me. Honestly, no, if anyone I, wants I to, any, if anyone wants to debate uh, Adam King, do it because he does bring some. He does bring some science from time to time. As much as I'm just like, I don't want to get into it because I'm not a theologian, so I'm not going to try and go toe to toe with people on on scripture and shit like that. But if you want to go toe to toe. Adam King. He was going oh, deep oh, earlier. That's what I was saying. I, man. I was like, I, I don't know some of that stuff. So Adam, you know, yeah. some people well, study honestly, all yeah, There's so many times I'm like, man, this motherfucker knows from I was like, what? Like, I didn't know that about Jews. the Jews. Like, I'm He's a smart <laughs> dude. Seriously, I was like, what? Honestly, I want to give a plug for this book. That all right, I plug it. It. This book right here, <laughs> I didn't translate it. My rabbi actually you got a butt plug you're trying to tell yeah my rabbi actually went on green's show at rabbi avraham greenbaum he's truly a luminary of humanity i all hope that you turn in and check out the show that he did with adam the show that he did with me and anything that he totally puts up he, he did the translation <laughs> i published it it's on amazon 138 gates of wisdom the first page of it obviously signed copy but, you published uh, it uh, yeah i published this man 
and the and the forward is dedicated to my book club. And uh, I'll tell you, <laughs> I, I love this stuff. And you I gotta come up with a cooler name than book club, dude. It's, it's called the Big L Book Club. As your it's marketing director, we're gonna have club. to come up with something better than that. I love that okay? name, dude. I want I'm not something like it. it's already in the book, like, man. I already like, published the name in the book. Why am I the gonna Biblio change? Crew or Mo something? Moshiach like, University. Moshiach <laughs> Incorporated. <laughs> come on down to the streets of New York where we're selling Moshiach. The Biblio Dojo. Come on. Well, well, I tell you, man, we'll I get it. That. I appreciate the shout out, Matt Baker, that I'm willing to debate anybody. And generally, yeah. I am. I want to find he's, he's common ground, and I want to take out the evil that exists in our world more than I want to get into fights and prove that I'm right. So, so if you want to debate me, great. But more importantly, if you want to work with me to defeat the evil that's plaguing humanity, those are the messages I want to see. So, are you going to call out Shmuley for coming out in his bathrobe? And I, tell us a story about I the did. bathrobe. I, I gotta hear that real quick. Show. You want to close with that? Yeah, I just want to hear that. Smoley! Yeah. Smoley! We're calling you Holy out! Smoley! <laughs> I don't remember how I got it, but like, I was like, uh, somebody like, he was hiring an executive di director for his like family values network or something like that. And he, and I got suggested as somebody to interview to possibly uh, lead it. And he was like this famous rabbi at the time. It was like, I don't even remember when it was, I, I could get the exact date if, if I needed to. Uh, but I showed up to the interview, it was on Zoom. And so bizarre. Have you got, you guys know point. like those sliding Asian doors that like open and yeah. close. So you gotta picture the scene, man. It was like from a movie. Like I'm sitting there in the Zoom, I'm in my suit and tie, sweating bullets, all nervous, like about to like- Trying to get a job. Interview to be CE, the, the, basically his d executive director, you know? And like, like, oh God, you know, he's, he's so, he's famous, blah, blah, blah. The slider doors open slowly <laughs> and out from the corner, literally like this speed. I'll, I'll show you guys. He comes yeah, out. I wanna see it, yeah, let's see it. Like let's this, see it. with his hands in his robe, he's wearing like a b all blue silk robe with like dragons or something going up the side. And he comes out <laughs> like this. <laughs> I, I swear, I'm not even exaggerating one bit. Eyes closed, how he and always he has his eyes closed. down like this. Do his balls come out of the- No, 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 he was, it was totally a kosher sex robe. Like he came like out with some out. Jojo with his wife or something He's like, like that. He's like pointing at you all I swear he came out like that. And I started laughing so hysterically. I was like, Shmuley, I'm not going to- Do you think he was hitting on you? Thank you, for the, <laughs> thank you for the memory that I'll cherish for a lifetime. And he might ever hear this and say, it's not true, it's not true. It is 100% true. I didn't exaggerate one thing about this interview. It was so funny. It like I was off that call in like ten minutes. I was like, "Peace out, Shmuley. Like, I'll yeah. see you at the next thing. I yeah, met him in like, person. Out. I'm gonna go work for Ben Stein instead. Yeah, he's trying to get donors, man. He's trying to get donors, and uh, you know, he's oh, he was pushing product hard too on Alex today. He's like, oh, yeah, oh, it yeah, yeah, was, it never reminds me of my this. And that's like, it's Owen embarrassing him because a WWE uh, dildo salesman. <laughs> Owen was so funny. Did you exactly hear Owen back a smart him up? Guy. Man, uh, and he, it was he's a smart guy. I'm not here to compliment him. He did a disgrace to, to whatever he's trying to pull off, but he ruins everything. Like that could have been such a productive moment for humanity. And he had an opportunity to deliver a big win for Team Humanity. And instead, he just wanted to be a rebel a rouser and fight people. To use a and wrestling term, man. Be a shit girl. to get people angry at Jews. And yes. he knew exactly what he's he was doing. And, and when I see that stuff, I'm like, this is establishment psyop coming at you in full of force. Michael Jackson's rabbi, Oprah's rabbi, everybody, America's rabbi, he calls himself, selling dildos and butt plugs, telling everybody the Jew is. It's like, I don't know. Kennedy's dude. rabbi. I look at a psyop, I'm now. like, that dude is trying to fuck shit up for the Jews. All right, y'all. Peace out. I really enjoyed it. Thank you, Matt Baker, Adam Green. Uh, thank you to Adam King, of course. Uh, King Bow was here earlier. Uh, reform, reform. I, get my, I messed up. Redeemed Zoomer. Why do yeah. I want to say reformed? I keep fucking that up. Redeem, Redeemed Zoomer was here for a bit earlier. Uh, and Andrew Meyer with the strange run in. We'll shout him out as well, I guess. Uh, but thank you, uh, guys. Great. I really appreciate Cast it. And crew, man. Even the, even the losers get a shout out <laughs> at the end of the movie. That's right. Uh, thank you, guys. And let's do it again. I really enjoyed it. Amen. I did too. Thank you, Ethan. This was great. Anytime, Ethan. Later. Peace out. Peace, love, and breast love. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that was something else.
That was something else. Now, I said I would play. Andrew Myers probably pissed at me, but man, like, I'm sorry, dude. You just completely. I'm sorry, dude. You just completely dropped the ball. Like, I didn't bring. I brought you on to to fucking bring the fire, right? Like, we already had a panel. If you wanted on the panel, why didn't you just message me the other day? I thought you were gonna bring the heat towards Adam King, and when you didn't, it was just a complete letdown. I don't know what to tell you, and. I had to do what I did just for just for entertainment's sake. Like I had to get you out of there, dude. It was it was a nightmare. So. And shout out to both Adams, by the way, because they they really that's the made wind, this happen. That's the wind of time. That's the wind of history. That's the wind blowing through your ancestors' bones, begging you to do the right thing. Sir, can you please that answer is the wind yeah, that Sir. Matt Baker is calling upon from Ocean Beach. The wind that is blowing through the black people, through the white people, through the Chinese people, through the Mexican Americans, through the people that built this building with their bare hands. The Begging you, and they are blowing through your veins, and they should be putting a tail off the spine of your back, and they should be begging you to do the right thing. You're about to open a pit of hell. You do not get a vaccine passport put on us. You know, as the population who's in control, you know that the people are the politicians. Once you get a power, you will never relinquish it. Do you think that the four feet of marble that hold Sir, your time has expired. My time has expired as well. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Bill Fair. Remember to like and subscribe.